Oh, hello. Sorry, I'm just waiting for Aussie to go properly live. I went to the <laughs> wrong scene. <laughs> <laughs> I went to the wrong scene. I apologize, nice. everyone. Also, hello. How are we all doing? Nice, nice, nice. Ah, <laughs> ah you peeked. Your microphone didn't bring it in. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Hello. Cuddly Hello. rabbit, how dare you? Hello. <laughs> what happened? Tell me I'm a cutie in my own chat. My own <laughs> so, so, Lucy likes to come into the going live with a an exclamation of excitement. I, I reckon I'll call it, and um. And it was just a little too loud today, and the microphone didn't pick oh, it up. Oh no! No. <laughs> and yes, Pa, we no scare alerts during D and D. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> no, I have turned off my scare for alerts. Don't worry, I have turned. Yeah, off. I turned mine off as well because I had some on, and Pa Bor got one a really, really perfectly timed scare alert. <laughs> what were we doing? Yeah, charity phasmophobia last night. Nice. Uh, nice. And it was, it was, it was like me alone in a house with a spirit box, mm -hmm. and oh. the the ghost responded, and I threw the spirit box away and exclaimed <laughs> like, "Oh, it's this ghost!" And then it like formed <laughs> in my face at the same time that Pablo sent no. the scare Oh away. wow! Perfectly timed. Just... I I hope that got clipped. <laughs> It did. It's in my Discord. Excellent. I will Brilliant. check that clip out. <laughs> As someone who played but... Phasmophobia last night, I appreciate hearing more Phasmo stories. Yeah, see, you're not the only one who screams. Oh, I, no, I squeal. That's the difference. Oh, oh. <laughs> we love that. I squeal like a little schoolboy. Anyway, D and D, everyone. Yeah, D and D. Is that I wouldn't mind some D and or D. Look, uh, Roger, you, know... you can get your D when you want it, when you want it, all right? Is that... <laughs> I gotta go. I gotta go. <laughs> I gotta go. Wait, Look, we, go. we can't oh, have a here. stream. Can we, like, see if we can have a stream when no one says they have to go and turn off their camera? Is that no. possible? It's too late. We've already that... done it. I, I know, know it's already... Can we have a stream where someone doesn't jinx tech problems on us? <laughs> have no! Elsie. What do you think of- <laughs> I was about to make it worse, actually. I was about to jinx it worse. <laughs> Don't you dare. <laughs> no, it's fine. Absolutely nothing mm -hmm. can go wrong now. <laughs> right? Bro, you I'm off the hook. There you go, buddy. I got you. I got you. Thanks, Bro, you made it worse. Bro, you made it worse. Yeah, remember that. Remember the last. Me? Remember the last time I said that, and I rolled two nat ones on my death save. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I remember. I was there. I was there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly what he's yelling. Yeah, exactly. You guys couldn't hear the Wilhelm scream. The, the best thing about that was the fact that it was with digital dice, so there's no way to like. Yeah, fake there's no, the there's rolls. no fudging it. That's no. just it. Just is what it is. Yeah. No fudging the rolls. But we are here to play the ND Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition. Wow. And uh, if you can hear the wonderful little crackling fire in the background, we, uh, as per usual, we are using Sirenscape. Don't be afraid to check them out if you want some good audio for your own games. It's really, really neat for your uh, IRL games or if you use the online player, uh, you can even send the audio to other other. Like, um, you can connect to friends' accounts and you can send the music to them via the online player. So you can even use it, like we're doing now, over a video call. Yeah. It's cool. It's really cool. It's really cool. Cool, 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 you cool, know, cool, it, cool. It's pretty cool, but it's actually not as cool as Josie. Mm, mm, mm. This is true. This is very true. Okay. I will let you all know that you are three puns away from punishment. <laughs> well, everybody get your super spells ready. We got, we got punishment just Panthers me being behind. obnoxious. That was, well, that was a pun, but I felt like on that note, I'm going to mention... That's that fair. Okay. Three. Well, this is good because I am now counting down to our demise. Um, Excellent. We, you mean Arthur's demise? Arthur yeah. does not do yeah. well or, against these Panthers. Always... 
goes first and is fantastic. He, after some reason, his problem is the punishment panthers. He he can't do anything. There should be three this time, right? Or should there be there's one and there's two? What if? I don't know. What if this time? There's there's going to be more. There's, there's absolutely going to be more. No, no, no. This time it's going to be the one punishment panther with three heads, Cerberus style. Oh. <clears throat> Punderous. <laughs> oh, I love it. Or, or what if it's like? I mean, George has never seen the Punisher <clears throat> Panthers. So what I if it's like, like... <laughs> uh, cuddly George can't see at all. George, if it's all dark and no one fucking puts a torch on, you know what George does just fine. True. Well, well, well when it's all passion. dark, Rudy's gonna put a light on. So, <laughs> okay, children, children, give children, up, give up Saren Ray. Kevin! <laughs> oh! Oh no, you did it! <laughs> Ozzy, sit the fuck down. <laughs> ah, you're gonna leave an ear on your pillow. <laughs> Everyone, Orb, you are doing wonderful. <laughs> Hi, everyone, in all the chats out there in internet land. I'm Josie Bowser, I'm the Dungeon Mistress. I run this game and have been now for 49 sessions. We've been playing for over a year. A year and four months this Holy campaign heck. has been going. How wild is that? Next week will be session 50. And there are some fun things working in the background. Keep an eye out <coughs> and ear to the ground. Oh, uh, right. Today I am drinking some uh, soda stream. Just some lemon lime homemade soda. Oh, nice. And I'm going to send it over to our to our guest, Gouda. Oh. Uh, Gouda's going to hold her action because she forgot her drink. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm gonna send it to the good boy orb. I am the good boy orb, or <laughs> wettest orb, as some people might know me. Um, I play Arthur Orblet the third. He is a wood elf ranger with a dash of rogue. Um, recently we found out he can grow claws on his hands. Um, which is uh, something that the party hasn't seen. It's a cause um, for concern. <sighs> um, as we are going to continue, <laughs> I am drinking vodka and Pepsi Max because apparently vodka has no calories. Apparently. Um, um, on that, I am going to pass it over to Ozzy Defro. <laughs> Yeah, look, that's a wonderful note. He's looking at a vodka bottle, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, hello, I'm Lucy Um I uh, I play uh, Rudy Magic Hands McGee, the party's uh, grave domain cleric, who is currently decomposing, uh, eternally annoyed at everything apparently at the moment, and um, and honestly. <sighs> I think, according to the last battle, just wants to be noticed. Um, I think that's that's, that's that's kind of where he's at. Um, Do you want to talk about it? I every time he talks about it, he just gets annoyed. Anyway, um, <laughs> he uh, yeah, that, that's that's me. That's who I play. I'm drinking water, and I'm also drinking soft drink. Uh, Josie, I'm drinking Pasito, uh, which is like a passion fruit. Uh, soft drink, <laughs> those of you who don't know, you thinking you drinking like? Is there anything in front of it? No. What? No, no, like no, no company name. Like some, sometimes they have, like a really common company for that kind of drink is like. Oh, Des. uh, I mean it's it, it's it's Des? sugar. It, it's it's sugar not that sweet. Oh. No, it's oh, 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 cuddly. Why? No, you get back here, Missy, and you introduce yourself. My internet dropped. <laughs> I missed the pun. What happened? Don't worry about it. I, I had unstable internet and everything froze. What happened? I will tell you. It was a very sad pun. Uh, like I'll play Despacito. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hi, I'm Cuddly. I'm the current menace of this game. Uh, and so is Nana. Nana, honestly, Nana kind of feels like finally this curse has been passed off to someone else because I think for the last three battles, she's just been untouched. So you get it now, Rudy. Aha. Welcome into the group. Um, yeah, I play a little a gnome granny druid named Nana Malvora. She really likes to cook. Uh, she is uh, 
short. I don't know what else to say about her. That's, that's about it. Are um, you describing <laughs> Nana? No, oh, yeah, I guess it's the same. Um, yeah, yeah, they are about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Play, play. Your character always has to have a spark of you in it, huh? Um, yeah, and I am drinking water because I'm really dehydrated. Anyway, who is Good idea. Um, drink it. I have my drink. Yes. Give me a drink. Okay. Oh, that means you're passing it to me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I am currently guesting with the Dramonia crew. I'm going to tell them uh, I play a character called George the Bard. Um, one of my eyes is closed because I have a cut on my eyelid. So I have a Band-Aid there. So. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, like, <laughs> it's like the saddest pirate. <laughs> mm. The irony is my... My username on Twitch used to be pirate. <laughs> you're just trying to make your dreams come true. Don't don't let yeah, your de- dreams be dreams. Yeah, George is a bit of a little of a little shit that accidentally got someone killed last session, and um, but saved two children, so he's a good guy. He's a real good guy. Coming out on top. <laughs> yeah. He's also waiting to get paid. He's being paid. <laughs> Only half. Less than half. <laughs> last but not last but not least, we got Roju. Ah, uh, hello. I guess that's me. Uh, I'm Roju. You might know me as the Channel Participation Award. Um, but here you will also know me as Gerald, the party's wizard, who is not a wizard, uh, but is we'll actually never be a wizard. Will never be a wizard, uh, and is genuinely a warlock. Not that he necessarily even knows that term. Um, and, uh, and he's, you know, generally has, um, extreme anxiety about life in general and is terrified of everything. Um, and, uh, his charisma basically is the mask of semi-competence that you see over the top of it. Oh <laughs> we did have that conversation. How come Gerald has such a high charisma? Yeah. The fact that- that well, the... high of is just trying to hide. Yeah, that, that's just like a that's just like a really convincing act of 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 Wait, like convincing. Yeah, I mean, because because you, you don't haven't seen Gerald without the mask, so you know Wait, he's wearing a mask as well. Oh no, my god, is this, the, the, metaphorical the, mask. the metaphorical the, the metaphorical the mask, mask. Alive as well, like the hat. Oh, this changes everything. <laughs> anyway, we're one minute over. It's time for the recap. Wow. <clears throat> Last week on Dramonia, the party continued their um, excursion in the Knoll Knolls, the hills that had. They are helping raid along with the Midnight Suns Guild of Volunteers. Uh, they went in as the Strike Force to clear out whatever can be found inside. They found some witherlings, some seemingly undead knoll husks that were easily enough defeated, but there was also some very powerful knolls inside. Um, and at the very, very depth of these caverns, they found a much larger knoll, seemingly doing some form of ritual that the party interrupted. A few civilians that recently had been kidnapped were also seen down here. George, turning invisible, uh, moved over to where the civilians were and summoned an elk as a defensive uh, maneuver. Mm-hmm. However, the elk was hit by the flail of madness and lunged out backwards and hit one of the civilians, sadly. The two left, uh, George brought to safety and h- hid them behind Claire's bear, Bjorn. And uh, a fight broke out. However, most of the fight was made redundant by a very, very well-placed hold person by Gerald uh, on Faran the Rampages. Arthur, throwing himself into an emotional rage after seeing the two creatures that were responsible for the death of his pregnant wife some years ago. He went into a fury. And throughout it all, managed to get the last hit, tearing the head off the head of Faran. Rudy, doing his best to taunt the Shuzuba, a fiend creature that <laughs> spawned from, from a flaming pyre, um, was seemingly ignored for a very long time until a 45 points of damage 
inflict wound spell finally caught its in attention. He snapped. He snapped. <laughs> he snapped. Okay. He snapped. And the party, without without really much issue, the only one seemingly being in peril was Nana. But thanks to Gerald's gift of the protectors and oh, a yeah. uh, clack of her heels, she turned around and made herself scarce. <laughs> Bang. Literally disappearing at uh, using the hidden paths of the dream circle. But the party then found that around this ritual pyre, several magical items, coins, this pyre was made out of what seems to be burning humans, just scorching them. But you also found what looked like a basin filled with blood. Gerald, after talking openly, one of the few times he'd done so, talking openly with his hat, Sarkaba, came to the conclusion that this was a, some form of communication device, but they didn't really know how to work it. Arthur offered to poke the thing <laughs> and did so, uh, to, which, to which Gerald and Arthur saw the face of a uh, very familiar fiend, a succubus whose face contorted in rage and in audible screams as she saw him <laughs> on the other end of the line. She made. She hung up on us. <laughs> she hung up. And uh, the basin started welling over, and as the, the blood within spilled out, it started burning the ground around it, and it, an endless amount of this hot blood poured out, and the party ran out of the caverns, finding themselves in the night sky, on the hills, where the rest of the Midnight Suns Guild of Volunteers were currently making camp, having lookouts. And you were greeted by Venarian, who told you to come sit. And that, that is where we're going to pick up. Right. Now, <clears throat> at the very end of last week's session, we did have the, the brief idea that we might uh use um a sufficient amount of the gems that we found to potentially resurrect the guild member who died uh, if you would do so yeah uh, what, what do we think problem, about that <clears throat> the only problem is i don't think rudy has <clears throat> although that would be a terrible thing well, to you have. are just about to have a long rest yeah so you're able to in the morning yeah, he'd have to, um, what would he, he would have to, um, pencil in the stronger revive, wouldn't he? Like, the one that uh, would be, I believe it's Ray's dead. Ray's dead. Ray, it's literally Ray's I mean, dead, isn't it? Yeah, I feel like he would also probably talk to Venerian about it first anyway, so that's a this big really progress to greet someone and then be like, oh, I, uh, well, yeah. yeah, sure. Well, look, if, 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 you know, if someone was to approach Rudy and go, hey, look, we need to, we need to get a, a res over here, he'd be, he'd be happy to do it. Um, what if? <clears throat> because i mean technically the soul has to want to come back as well right because they can refuse mm -hmm. technically they what can. if you do speak with dead and be like hey yo do you want to get resurrected <laughs> <laughs> and, and they can be like no nah, it's cool and then you'd be like no worries and we save Hang ourselves on. a thousand gold of diamonds that's, uh, that's a good that's a good thing rudy still has speak with dead on the uh on his spell list and um so i suppose yeah uh, yeah i mean you, you should probably yeah i mean look if i didn't want to come back i would be so mad this so because because right, the thing is we don't want to we don't want to use a thousand gold just to find out that they don't want to come back <laughs> Yeah, okay, fair call. So so I'm assuming the, the you know, there's there's a fire going, people are eating and drinking and celebrating people a little bit of the victory. Uh, yeah. Hannah Hannah and Claire went ahead. You can see the two children are sleeping up against Bjorn, couldn't mm. currently near the fire. And Venarian is leading you towards there there seems to be two fireplaces. One is higher up and you can see a few mm. people that are looking like a lookouts on yeah. the hill that um Gerald exploded. <laughs> that's right <laughs> they, 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 they made a smaller fire where a few people are sitting to get a bit of a high ground right. and then there's a larger uh the fireplace that was already existing that the gnolls had has been rekindled and that's where most people are sitting and talking okay. all right we can refill our flasks Venarian leads you over there asking what so what happened down there <laughs> oh well what didn't Everything happen okay. down there? and he looks over and this, this like 
column of black smoke is just pouring out of the cave entrance. Okay, now for the record, that was Arthur's fault. Uh, I 100% second that. That, yes, exactly. When when one is presented with an altar that <clears throat> has filled with blood, potentially some form of horrible communication device, you don't just plunge your hands into it. Like, why? Well, I, I, oh. I mean, someone had to, I guess. Um, I, I did do that, didn't I? Oh, don't... You like, did, yes. Coin uh, now. <clears throat> Well, we we did get information out of it, and we'd already taken... I think we'd already gotten the important things out of this, so I think on, on the balance, it's probably fine. We did, we did all make it, didn't we, George? George, well, you're around, <clears throat> right? George? Where's George? George? George is probably putting a blanket on the two kids. Oh, what a softie. <laughs> No, no, oh, like he probably, probably would is, not have heard you say. Yeah, is, is, oh, is George, oh no. is, is George actually like Sundere secretly? I don't know. We'll find out. Be like, oh, fuck around, find out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's he's probably just pinching a, a, some food off somebody. He's he's around. I know he got out. Yes, yes. No, no, th- we're all we're all very very curious to hear what happened down there. But I I will let you know. Uh, the Knoll party that had left did return, but um, they saw us hunkered down for a bit far away, and then they took off north. So I think we're I oh, think we're, we're pretty we're much victorious at this. Oh yeah, yeah, we we took down the big one, that's for sure. There was a big one, and then there was a, a bigger, smellier one, and, and yeah, I mean, I think we took care of it. Uh, you think? Is that why my hands are so sore? Uh, yeah, yes, you wouldn't let the skull, it was burnt. Oh my what God. skull? How much do you remember? What? Are you, a, are you... Are you okay, Arthur? Can I uh, do a medicine check on Arthur to see if he's like... I don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. yeah? All right. Um, If he's like, yeah, I suppose insight might also work, but... Uh, 15. 15? Well, his hands look burned. Mm. Like, they, they've they got, like, burn blisters forming. It's pretty bad. And mm. he seems to be in... Well, he passed out without seemingly any injuries, so he's probably in some sort of shock. Mm. You know what, uh, veterinarian? Maybe maybe we should, just for we'll the moment... To the fire. Yeah, let's... How about, maybe... how about you recant the story tomorrow while we're walking back instead and we could just make sure that you'll get a proper lay down you do it looks at nana you you look like you could use some rest thank you, you got very like this nice. huge like bite mark over your entire <laughs> shoulder <laughs> i would have had time to touch that up if it wasn't for the giant you know firestorm that was you know roaring through the caverns oh yes no i it was the yeah, lesser of the problem. Like, is it, on the other hand, is that a th- something we should be worried about? I probably. I mean, Jared, it didn't. It didn't chase us out. Um, I thought it was just going to continue to pour potentially forever, and that we'd all die a horrible, uh, burning, blood-filled death. But that seems to have not taken place somehow. Yet. Yeah, that sounds awful. Yet. Not gonna lie. Correct, Anna. Yet. I, I think what Gerald is trying <clears throat> to say uh, is it didn't come out of the caverns, and we are going to Yet. Yeah, it didn't come out of the caverns, and we are going to be fine. Maybe. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Let's make sure we have someone staying, keeping an eye on that tonight. Hmm. Probably a good yeah. idea. Some someone that can make sure it's someone that can yell very loudly while they burn to death. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we'll we'll, we'll make sure someone. Gerald, someone. maybe we get you by the fire too. <laughs> uh, Nana's gonna start brewing a little bit of tea. Uh, two cups for the kids and one cup for Arthur. The kids um, are sound asleep. They are no cups for the kids. No caffeine for them. <laughs> One cup for Arthur. Arthur <laughs> goes to grab it and does forgets about his hands and he drops the cup. 
Oh, I'm, 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 I'm sorry, Nana. Oh, come here, you overdramatic elf, oh, you. It's, it's fine. Rudy's oh, casting I'm... cure uh, cure wounds on Arthur's hands. Uh, 24 hit points. Oh, God, that was a fourth level. That was. Really? Rudy just fucking <laughs> banished the burns to the whatever plane <laughs> they came from. Yeah, there's uh as as you as you like cast a spell, there's this moment where the scabs like they look like they're about to slough off. They turn black and they pop oh. like the blisters and liquid comes out and then they, they just like fall off and underneath you got like red like uh fresh skin. Hmm. All right, now you can drink your tea in peace and I can go see about, you know, chatting up the dead over here to see if they want to be resurrected. And Venerian cocks an eyebrow, what? Well, the poor fellow that passed away in our battle. Did, did we want to check if he wanted to come back? Is that... Is that within your capability? <clears throat> yes. Is it not within everybody's... Well, okay, maybe not everybody's. It's, it's but... gone quiet now. Everyone is just looking at you. What? What, was it something I said? Uh, yes, it, it was, Ruby. Generally, people don't come back from the dead. Well, it's expensive. Yeah. Of course not everyone comes back from the dead. It's very it, expensive, it, it, yes. What, how, wait, expensive? What do you mean? Oh, well, okay, long story short, earlier, it, it's, it's, okay, I discovered that I had that, I mean, I wasn't sure I had the capabilities, but... The short we story, fight, Rudy. Uh, yeah, okay, we're fighting a little arm. <laughs> Gerald died, I slammed a diamond into his chest, said some words, and up he got... And now they're all looking at Gerald, like, almost waiting for confirmation. Oh, that's apparently true. Um, I, I know I definitely died. I can tell you that much, and now I'm very not dead, uh, which I'm... I think I'm grateful for. What? What? And you see one person starts, like, rummaging in their backpack, like, I got... I got seven silver. Oh, Will that no, help? It, no, no, it's not literally <laughs> money. Oh, oh dear. Okay, no. It, it, okay. And everyone starts put like they no, just no, start stop. discussing. They're like, pooling their money. Aww. <laughs> but, no, That's it, really please. sweet, though. I, I, I'm happy to do it. it just, it's, it's okay. Don't need to. Don't, don't use your hard-earned money. We found some gems down below, and we, I, yes, it, we, we found some. Uh, from what I understand, please correct me if I'm wrong, Rudy, but. Your magic, uh, much like arcane magic, does require material components uh, from time to time, and diamonds, in this case, as I understand it, is our material component here, uh, and we need a certain amount of them. Uh, how much was it, Rudy? Uh, I'd have to brush up on the specifics overnight. Um, I just got to double check. But the you... moral of the story is we found a stack of gems um, from the from the cave, so we might have enough to bankroll it potentially from that. Of course, if oh, everyone wants to chip in, I'm not going to say no. You know, we could just. Oh, you know. don't take advantage of their misery, Gerald. V Venerian looks. Oh, everyone like dies. Thanks for a moment. <laughs> Depending on the cost, I don't think I. I could maybe requisition one from the jeweler in Ebonspire to have you repaid. But I don't know the, the value. It depends. Our. our the, the guild's pockets aren't bottomless. I but we was definitely going to do it recoup. anyway, we... Venarian. Uh, we'll take an IOU. That's fine. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Venarian, I don't think you can put a price on life. It's only that we Oh, no, you can, you can, you can, Nana. We, we have an exact price, yes. <laughs> 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 What I meant was, there's no need to repay something that we would be happy to do anyway. Uh, but I think it is important that Rudy talk with um, I'm gonna ask our friends. You you always should get consent before yes. resurrecting someone, I think, Rudy. That's when you're in the middle of battle and you desperately need your warlock up firing, I mean your wizard up firing fireballs, okay? You definitely need that. Oh, I, I agree. And with this, Rudy, um, I, I'm assuming the, the, the body of the, the... Because there was only one one guild member that yeah. got killed? Yeah, is it, probably off to the side somewhere, covered up or something like that. Just, like, 
There, there's a, a shallow grave that has been made. Oh. Yeah. Is it filled? It, it's covered over. It's, it's oh. not like a dug down grave. It's more oh. like they put like mm. dirt and rocks on top of the body, oh. body on the ground. Oh. The body. Well, now this feels not as good. I, I don't really want to dig up a grave. Rudy. Well, well, if you well, can bring them back, it's Venarium not going to be a grave. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, fine. Just let's just reveal the head for two seconds, and so uh, they sort of paddle okay. away. We we paddle yeah. away. You're going to ask permission first. What if he's comfortable where he is? He, he might not want to come back. You never know. I don't know what the afterlife. I don't know what happens after death. Actually, I do. It, it, I do. First goes your organs, and then they can only get eaten away by worms, and then. And then it's. It, and then it hears this and just goes, Rudy! Oh, I'm sorry! All right, all right fine, fine. Um, uh, uh, okay. Uh, and then Rudy casts Speak with the Dead. Um, and he's doing it in his very, like, haphazard way. He's not, like, properly preparing it. So it really is just he lights a candle and then just, like, slams his gloved hand on the chest of the body to sort of, like, give it that, <laughs> that big, like, breath of, you know, sort of thing to wake it up, so to speak. Hmm. Okay, yeah, and, and the eyes do shoot open, and uh, the there's like a, <gasps> and the eyes then look at you, and like all the people around take a very tentative step back, and then forward, and they're just like, <laughs> looking over your shoulder. Oh, I just realized how this probably looks. I assure you we're doing this to just ask permission, this is, for no nefarious reasons, this is just... I'll... Anyway, uh... And you just hear someone go like, Magic's fucking whack. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> no <reason. laughs> so true, though. And you're another I, one, like, I did take a class in the college, but I had no idea this was possible. Maybe like, you should go and back. And, and just remember <laughs> what Rudy looks like here. No bottom, like, lip missing a, an no, eyelid, no. missing a no. nose, missing an ear, I think, at some point. So, like, yeah, you, also a few patches of hair. A few patches of hair. So he pretty much looks like he has several feet in the grave already, and he's yeah, sort ironically. of bringing up back to life other people. <laughs> this is so good. Yeah, but you get three questions, I believe. Okay. Um, so, so he's sort of... Okay, so he leans down and he's sort of like, you know... I think... Some... Is it three or five? Uh, I think it's five. I'm pretty sure it's five. We've yeah. done five. But we, I don't think we're going to use five. It's, it's just very simple. He's just like, okay, all right, son. Uh, uh, how do you phrase this? Uh, do you want to come back to your living life? Do you want to be resurrected? Uh, uh, are, you, are you happy being dead? I don't know how to phrase this question. That is how he asks the question. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, good, clear and concise. Very good. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and uh, the the eyes lock onto your Rudy, and the just says, "Yeah, I'd like to live, please." <laughs> okay, there you have it. Well, uh, in that case, that's pretty much all I need. Uh, you go back to sleep for the moment, and um, I'll have you up right as rain, well, almost right as rain in the morning. All right. And the the bot the. The air is just exhaled again, and the head falls to the side. Excellent. All right. Well, <laughs> Rudy turns up to Darian and goes, "All right, where's the? Where are those drinks?" Darian just looks at me like, "What? Okay. Um, do we cover How do you back think up? We questioned the head that, that we gave you for all that time. Uh, I would probably you know, um... that answers a lot of questions, but do we?" cover him back up oh, we, we, yeah. I, I'd, I'd clean him up I don't think he wants to wake up in the dirt no he wouldn't want that but we can do that tomorrow morning he'll be fine uh, oh Rudy casts <clears> as well <throat> I'm pretty sure he still has it ready to go oh he's op I'm opening all the things now um let me just double check yeah I'm pretty sure he has still his gentle repose <laughs> yeah he does so Rudy does cast gentle repose as well just in yeah. case just in mm. case um Nana, the, the person who died would have had like a little, like a satchel or something. Um, yeah, they're, they, so, they have their belongings. Yeah, Nana will just kind of clear away some of the dirt and put a little, like the blanket that they might have been carrying, and like maybe their little, like something as a pillow, and be like, You make us. Um, we'll make Arthur, you breakfast. Arthur's going to walk over to George. Um, George. 
Yeah. Yeah. What happened down there? I can't remember very much. Well, they were fighting. Yeah, I heard... But... I heard... the magic-y dude that upset that no one hits on him. Or hits him. I don't know which it is. Um, he seemed weirded out. You see, he called you a werewolf at some point. I don't know. So my hands... I... Am I a werewolf? Ah. Yes! <laughs> I don't know, are you? That seems like... That seems like something you would tell me. All, all I remember is seeing him, or it, and then I grew into this... I just... I was getting angry and angry, and then I can't remember what else happened. It was... If it looks like a werewolf, acts like a werewolf, and you're angry like a werewolf, Probably a werewolf. Look, George, you, 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 you've been heaps of help. Thanks. Um, <laughs> You're welcome. I, what a lot of answers have not been answered. Um, <laughs> good night, George. He could be an unaware werewolf. Uh, oh uh, no! <laughs> <laughs> they literally just put a look on the joke. Oh my! Uh, for those of you in, across all the chats who don't know, um, Josie, our lovely DM, keeps track of all the puns that we say during our campaign. And if we reach a certain amount, um, we get attacked by the punishment panther. Yeah. I think we're two away. I think you just said. Yeah. Yeah. Away. The All number right. required goes up every time, mm. and you know we but see that so as a challenge. Of yeah. Um, <laughs> um, so Arthur's gonna go sit next to the fire, um, mm -hmm. and just so everyone's got a visual idea, you know how Spider-Man sort of does the sh sh like one well, of the webs yeah. thing. Arthur's sort of doing that, but nothing. He's obviously <laughs> happening. <laughs> 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 so he, 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 Arthur's wow. literally just doing this at like the fire, sort of like trying to. I trying think to, Netta sees this and trying to do your best Wolverine impression <laughs> with with her flask out, just in case you never know. And goes, uh, Arthur, what are you doing? Um, apparently I'm some sort of werewolf thing. George was just telling me. Um, well, no. you look, you um, I think this is probably something we were going to ask you. Uh, you did have claws at one point. I don't know that this is going to. What what sort of claws did I have? Were they like uh, sharp ones? Oh, okay, yes. Uh, right. I hope that helps a little bit. Um, Josie, is there anything like distinguishing that I would have nature check maybe like? They were just yeah. Make make a oh. nature check. Make a nature check. Yeah, because they weren't like necessarily like mine that I can get out and they're acidic or anything. Nana, I swear to God, if you don't roll this nature check good, I'm gonna. Nana. Nana's actually good at this. Isn't Take it? away your druid card. <laughs> yeah, druid card revoked. It's okay. I still think it's a fifteen. Hold on. Yeah, it is a fifteen. Fifteen. Nice. <laughs> you don't know a lot about lycanthropes in general. You know they exist. Uh, there is there is actually a clan of werewolves that live in the deep wood, but to the far south. Mm -hmm. um, but it's usually rather telling. Like it encompasses mm -hmm. their being. There's uh, there would have been more tells, and you also know personally that you can grow magical claws at will as well. Yeah, yeah. So there's there's. Mm -hmm. No way to be sure, but currently there's nothing that points at Arthur being a werewolf. Yeah. Um, actually, to to illustrate that point, I accidentally already clicked long rest, so I won't click on the spell now, but uh, I would like Nana to grow her claws out uh, yeah. and say, well, look, uh, I don't know that you might H be How do you do werewolf. that? How do you do that first? How does Nana do it? Uh, Nana, you know how you some, 
like salt bay with like sprinkles of yeah. sprinkles of salt and it's not quite like that but like you know if you would if you would be sprinkling um herbs or spices into some food uh maybe just like a little bit like that and then oh okay <laughs> uh arthur sort of goes oh, nana can i try some spice it might work um i i don't know how you how you did it, and you don't seem to remember. Now, what was the last thing that you remembered before the... The eyes. The, the green, green the eyes. eyes. You, you did say something about green eyes when we fought the last nose. Um... Perhaps you're... Actually, I don't know if I would know that it's brought on by rage, necessarily, because I don't know what these eyes mean to him, do I? Um, no, no, you know what he said. Hmm. That he's... You're free wise. to make your own assumptions. Yeah. Uh, uh, maybe... Maybe yours is not a spell, Arthur. Maybe... Maybe yours is more of a feeling. Hey. What, what were, were you feeling anything? Were you... Just angry. Very, very that angry. That a strong feeling. Uh... Maybe we can ask uh, someone at the School of Magic when we go back. That's very interesting, but uh, I'm not sure my little spice will work for you. Well, they, um, those eyes, it, I, the look of him, it's sort of coming back. It's sort of close to the thing that killed my wife. Close to, or I, I vividly remember what's happened. I can't, I can't quite remember. Oh. As in, as in, what's happened in the cave? It, it, it sort of it was the green eyes are exactly the same. I remember that, but right now I can't quite. Remember the shape. I I don't know. I'm tired. Yes, maybe have some rest. Oh, well, I will tell you that what happened in the cave was you gave him the old one too. That's what you did. <laughs> oh, I I did my normal normal thing. I was awesome in combat. Thanks. <laughs> Arthur, yes. Arthur sits there. I'm quite happy with myself. <laughs> Uh, how did the other guys go? Did they do well as well, or...? Uh, Rudy wouldn't like to talk about it, but he did get ignored for most of the battle. Did he lose his temper? <laughs> I missed that. I can't... I can't remember anything, and I... Oh, that would have been fun to watch. <laughs> mm, it was... something. Uh, I'm uh, sure you'll see it again. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, no, 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 I, I think I need need some rest. Mm, yes, you you rest and uh, I'll watch the fire for a little bit. Arthur gets up, but he's gonna trip over his seat and he's sort of shit. <laughs> you hear from a distance, <laughs> Rodrigo. <laughs> <laughs> Just like burst out laughing. <laughs> Unless anyone has anything else, you are all free to take a long rest. Yes. Um, long rest hype. Uh, so, um, how how much was the how much is the resurrection? Ah, uh, yes, yeah, thousand, so I believe it is a thousand. A thousand. Mm. a thousand is it? All right. It is. Yeah. <clears throat> I will subtract. Oh yeah, I added none of the inventory. No, I I've got it all. That... Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I think I wrote it down. So, so raise dead is is always slotted in Rudy's spell slots. Uh, so, which is good. Um, but yeah, it is. Um, it no. So it's actually five hundred. Sorry. Oh, it's a nano. That's a thousand. A thousand. Oh, reincarnation is a thousand. Yeah, because because raise dead comes yeah. with like summoning sickness. Oh, I forgot oh. I can do that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right. So well, the spell that's closes 500 gold. mortal Sweet. wounds. Uh, it doesn't restore missing body parts. 
Um, it's not unfortunate for you. So I'm pretty sure this one was just cut down. So I don't think. Yeah. yeah. Cool. All right. Not missing any limbs. Not missing any limbs. So are we uh, are we next morning or? <clears throat> Yeah, the, the morning come to, comes to uh, the smoke. There's still smoke coming out of the cave, but it's less. Mm. And uh, Arthur, since you would have woken up earlier than most, uh, you do spot with your perception as well that there are footprints leading out of the cavern and immediately away. Like, mm -hmm. just like wet, soot, burning footprints. Bitch. Um, so... Basically, what's going to happen is Arthur's going to call his horse, um, he, he, and he's just going to call it Horsey. Okay. Come forth, Horsey. Um, <laughs> before he jumps on the horse, he goes, oh, runs into where, like, uh, Rudy's probably sleeping. Yeah. Literally. There's not really any tents uh, pitched anywhere. People okay. are just sleeping under the stars. All right. He goes up to Rudy, sort of kicks him, and sort of goes, wait, Rudy, Rudy. <laughs> There's oh, footprints oh, that way. Just, wait, I'm going what? to go investigate. You can come There's, with, what? get the rest of the party, but I'm going. And uh, Arthur uh, runs back to the horse, what? jumps on it, and starts riding that way. Uh, oh, uh, uh, <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> And as as that's happening, uh, Venarian is also like waking waking up and uh, sees you taking off. And uh, just like moments later, Arthur, you you hear like a high pitched. Uh, bird call and you can see Venarian's hawk is like flying above you following cool <laughs> you're a fucking hero Arthur yeah <laughs> so we just get this panned view of Arthur like barreling down the hills on a horse <laughs> and there's a hawk flying above is it in giant form or just like little form oh please tell me it's it's, giant. it's a it's a regular Size hawk, but it's but it's yeah. still pretty cool. Imagine. You're not allowed to use the staff of power on the hawk. It's not allowed. <laughs> I know, I'm, uh, I'm, 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 I'm I'm rolling to for, to see how many charges it gets back. Oh. Oh, I um, yeah. Um, you follow you follow the footprints for a while, and um, they keep going for for quite a bit. And uh, after a while, you stop, and they they get. <sighs> What's the word? Less and less visible. Right. Until you get to a point where uh, you would have to get off the horse and start like actively tracking, which would take a lot longer. Arthur's gonna do that. Okay. For about Every a couple survival. For about a couple of hours at least. Yeah, and we'll we'll move back to the party. Seventeen. Because uh, you're still seventeen is good. You you find the like footprints in the grass and you keep following them for a while, uh, but you have to like walk. At yep. like a slower pace now. Yep. Back in the back in the camp, a few hours pass. The sun starts rising. Before um, more people start sort of getting up and moving around, because since Rudy was rudely awakened, um, he would probably sort of like get collect himself, get himself up, and probably sort of decide. Well, I better do this early, so at least he can get some food into him, and that way less people will be gawking. And so, because Gerald has the uh, has the, the the gemstones on him, or probably has the diamond on him, he's he's what he's like. No, I goes think over... they were in the bag of holding because you chucked the bag of holding. Oh, okay. Okay. good. You have to wake Nana. Ah, excellent. Well, we'll just open it. Well, would Nana be awake getting think, breakfast um, going? Or? No, I think I think I gave Nana all the large items. So the um... oh, okay. oh, it's with Gerald. So it is with Gerald. Okay, cool. Like, I don't know. So, in the bag of holding. Man. So what? no he one knows in the bag of holding. Yeah, the, the the flail and the blame uh, flame tongue scimitar and the paralyzing dagger are in there. Oh yeah, we're going to So um yeah, Rudy would sort of come up to Gerald and just sort of like very politely sort of nudge Gerald awake. Not no, 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 no. behind this time. Gerald, uh, uh, Gerald, uh, I, 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 oh, Gerald, it's just me. Oh, I forgot oh, to put on. Sorry, Rudy. Gerald. You're sorry. missing your other eyelid as well now. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did it drop onto Gerald or is it just no, gone? Just like when you woke up and rubbed your eyes uh, okay. all off. Oh, uh, it's just, oh, yeah, cool. it's like, oh, uh, <laughs> Gerald, it's just so me. It's just perpetually like. Rudy. <laughs> it's, it's just me, Gerald. You're missing an eyeball. Me. What? I'm missing a what? You're missing an eyeball, Rudy. 
No, no. no not, they're both. Oh, I don't have any eyelids. The eyes are still there. Did you say he's missing an eyeball, Josie? A lid. Oh, I thought a, I thought a whole eyeball was just. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be okay. Really funny. Okay. It's like, yeah. <laughs> Gerald, it's just me. Uh, I know I look a little oh. spooky at the moment. But it's just me. No, don't anyway. do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, I, I was thinking of resurrecting our friend over here before oh, everybody wakes up. That's good funny. idea. Hmm. Yes. Well, good luck Can with I, that. Can, no, Gerald, I need hmm? the diamond. Uh, I need, oh. I need the diamonds. Oh, yes, yes, sure. Uh, 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 one, two, three, four, five. So how many did you need? All of them. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I, I believe there was a, a, a thousand gold worth of di diamonds total, you said? Excellent. <laughs> so I'd now... like to imagine that George, with his senses, is like... A awoken by all the shenanigan happening and is hearing this discussion about diamonds going on yeah so i'll i'll give you the, just the full Ooh. thousand and then you've got enough for two okay cool all right so rudy yeah, will George. um he probably heard yesterday that it was for resurrection so he wouldn't touch him okay uh, george the good guy it's gonna add diamonds you can steal anything else not, add not diamond to the backpack yeah, all right cool i also um, technically can't steal it from them because it's yeah. in the hands of the party right now yeah, no, yeah. Man has got, man's got you charmed you've got no interest <laughs> oh, no. no i have interest it's just in my mind of like oh it's for resurrection oh, Why yeah. Should I touch no. that? uh yeah 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 yeah. The self convincing. Yeah. Yeah. Because George like doesn't it. know he's charmed. Remember? Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I like it. Uh, I feel like Nana might be getting maybe stuff ready at this point. She's like, what are you doing? doing up so early? And. Oh, oh, just no, raising right. the dead nanas. Yeah, oh, it's right. Right. nothing, right, nothing right, right. too out of the ordinary. I'll get a snack started. Have Excellent. I, uh, raising the dead. I noticed but after Gerald came back. They'll be definitely hungry. Back. Oh, they will be, as will I. When I raised Gerald, I could almost eat a whole linorm, on, honestly. Uh, so, you know, we go over to. Rudy goes over the body, and this time he does it a little bit more delicately. He sets up some candles. He, you know, he does the whole. He, he sort of makes get it... candles. <laughs> He's got some stuff. Did you, did you, does Gerald say that out loud? Uh, yeah. <laughs> You're lucky you even came back. I had never done it before when, when I resurrected you. Are you saying I was your first, Rudy? You were my first, Gerald. <laughs> don't know how that could be missing. Arthur is not here to hear this. <laughs> oh, this shit is peril. Oh, I, you know, I feel honored. This <laughs> well, oh, no. fanfic <laughs> when? It makes, it makes you I mean, it was, it, it was it a little a awkward lot. for me as well, but I'm uh, much happier that, that it happened this way than not at all. Did you want to see it happen so you know how... Oh, uh, I, I would love to watch, yes. Yeah? Um, do you have a bucket? Uh, a bucket? Uh, I, oh, I'm, I'm sure I have a container or something. And with this, Rudy casts um, um, uh, re <laughs> Revive Dead. Restore. Sorry, what was it? <laughs> raised, raised dead. dead. Rudy really cast raised dead before Gerald could say anything else. How um, long in, casting time does it have? Uh, the casting time. Uh, yeah. That's a good question. Uh, it is instantaneous. Uh, mm -hmm. Duration instantaneous. Cool. It's a touch spell, so you know what? No. Oh really well. No casting time. One hour. Oh, duration is instantaneous. Sorry, my bad. Okay, so it takes an hour. Okay. Yeah, it's a it's a one hour long ritual. Oh, okay, right. Okay. Well, in this case, so so with the Gerald resurrection, Rudy that was just kind of like fire, right? it was. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, Rudy just kind of slammed the diamond into his chest. This time he's gonna do this. It's like similar thing, like rest the diamond on like the the wound that like actually mm -hmm. killed the 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 poor fellow, and like essentially, the, I'd like to note he like slowly sinks the diamond in to the wound. And then when it's like in, well, like, there's multiple gone. little ones, so you could like line the wound. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that, 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 that works as well. And like, and when they're in, that's when the shenanigans happen. And for those who watch, there's uh, there's almost like instead of the wound just closing, it looks over the hour these diamonds turn into this 
they they start changing form. They almost look like cells dividing, and they turn into these little eggs that eventually hatch into maggots that th then start hatching into flies. And as like this swarm of flies crawl out out of the wound, when and then they scatter and fly away, the wound is gone, hmm. and uh, the the body starts stirring, and you see like an eye opens. And there's a moment where the eyes still look glazed over, and then after a few blinks, like the color returns, and just. And the first thing it sees is Rudy's face, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh. There no. we go. All better. <laughs> Good as new. Oh, come on! Breakfast is over there. Let's go. Oh, oh don't mind. Don't it? mind the dirt on your. Yeah, there's a, got a little bit something there, and Rudy like pats off his shoulder, and then hops up and turns to probably a very green-looking Gerald. <laughs> Oh, does he's just like remember that he's talked to you at all? <laughs> Sorry, no, because the it's not when you get used to speak dead, you don't actually talk to the soul; you mm. talk to the memories in the body. Oh, mm. so this person has no, no idea. idea. That's no. fantastic. Oh, I hate it. So okay. we still <laughs> ask permission, but we ask permission from an empty husk. Of a oh body. no! Well, no, 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 because. <laughs> Because technically, it's 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 their memories, right? So so yeah. Well, essentially, it's still to return would have been there. Yeah. The body yeah. would. That's what the body expresses. Yeah. Well, but this person like slowly sits up, and people start coming over and talking, like very carefully helping him up. And uh, you would know from casting the spell, Rudy, that this person is gonna have uh, it's gonna be a couple of days before they're back to like feeling properly themselves mm, mm. that's fine it's better, better than dead <laughs> yeah a few, few, <laughs> few days bed rest <laughs> doing during all of this like as breakfast is being prepared as rudy is doing this ritual gerald is observing horrified checking he's checking his gerald He's Gerald checking his chest just... for, for, like, maggots now. Yeah, you know, Gerald is just Sully in Monsters, Inc., seeing, like, the trash compactor. Is that basically what happened to you as well, just very quickly? <laughs> and Rudy would now be like because he's seen it would be describing it in such like level of details like and it happened in fast forward so you can imagine the absolute mess it made all over your chest <laughs> uh, uh, they're not there's not still they're not still in there are they oh George oh, what are you doing <laughs> oh, this is happening well, George wanted to talk to Nana, but Nana is currently AFK. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. George we'll, wanted a we'll, muffin. You wanted a muffin? Okay, we'll go to yeah. Arthur while we wait for Nana to return. Okay. Arthur, you keep tracking, and you've now been riding uh, what looks like north for two hours, three hours. It's getting harder to track, but the prints are definitely there, and it seems... Like, there's roads around, there's scatterings of hills, forests, you see some wild game around, but these footprints seem to be heading in a constant direction. Right. Um, is there any way I can tell what made the footprints? That uh, humanoid. They look like boots. Boots. Yeah, okay. boots. Arthur sort of looks up to the bird and mm -hmm. sort of ways for it to come down um yeah if you if you signal to it it does come down and then arthur's lands, gonna lands on the paddle of the horsey arthur's gonna speak with animals mm -hmm. um hey can you uh, look i don't know how good your eyes are but could you see any footprints that i've been tracking sort of similar while you're up there or can you also, hello, good morning. Good morning. Yes. Uh, I could see the prints you were tracking, Arthur. Uh, however, I feel like whatever made these tracks probably has a few hours advantage on us, still. Uh, dang it, I was we're probably catching up, though. We're probably catching up, though, if we do, right? They seem to be heading in a constant direction, so it's possible to just beeline that way and see if we come 
across anything, but who knows how long it's going to take. And dawn has cracked, Arthur. The rest will be heading back soon. I will be turning back yeah. soon. Um, I really want to figure out what this is. Look, let's let's head back. Whatever it is, I dare say we'll we'll probably run into it again. Whatever it is. <laughs> would you would you like the ride on the horse on the way back? No, thank you. And it just like starts flapping. But does fly closer down, like yeah. coasting near and I'm just Arthur's gonna just make small talk to it while we're on the way back, just like so. How's it like to fly? That seems like a pretty cool thing. It is very nice. <laughs> it's very. It's a bit more effort down here where the winds aren't as uh, prominent. Oh, she's I'm like, sorry. She, she's flapping like a lot more. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. You, you know, if you want to go where it's a little bit more easy, I'm, I'm fine with that. Okay, I'll see you when we arrive, and just okay. like goes upwards and starts flying off. Yeah. Arthur makes his way back. Making friends yeah. with more birds? What does Madeline think? <laughs> well, Nana's no time to think about that because George wants to have a conversation. Ah! Yes, with Nana. Okay. Yes. Yes. Um, All right. I heard you were the one in charge of food. Um, I'd like a muffin. And he holds his hand out because he has no other way of knowing how to ask politely for something <laughs> at this point from like this realm. He's just like, Muffin, please. <laughs> now, George, are you sure you want a muffin, or do you maybe want three muffins? Make it three. The kids are hungry. And then she gives him actually four. <laughs> he kind of pops what it is mouth and goes, oh, thank you, and then starts heading over to the <laughs> while he's mouthing on the muffin in his mouth and three other muffins in his hands. And Nana just like shakes his head in that like he's a sweet boy kind of way. <laughs> he means well. <laughs> he means well. And he's done. He's feeding the kiddos. Do you actually give muffins to the kids? Yes, yes, he does. He's huh? telling the truth this time. Oh, cool. This time. <laughs> this time. <laughs> See, when he has kids involved, he's yeah, sweet. totally not guilt ridden. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. Is, that is yeah. very look he shouldn't be though it was nobody's fault it was just a flail of not even a flail's fault it was I mean, just whatever it was who knows yeah. that boss Noel might have just like swung the flail at them anyway yeah yeah, yeah. or probably, he probably was. or he might not have and they might still be here to this day we just don't know oh wow wow mm. wow you really did that Harsh. Wow. <laughs> Harsh. Wow. Mm, wow. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, yeah, eventually camp is, like, pull, put down. Uh, people gather up and, uh, like, everyone has leisurely has breakfast. They check in with their recently revived um, friend. And then, after a while, Arthur returns, like, galloping up the hill on horsey. That was the longest pee I've ever clocked you ever doing, Arthur. Where have you been? I told you I was chasing footprints. From the cave. You told Rudy? I, that you is let nuts. Arthur run off by his... When he I kicked well, you and, and I said, no, footprints goes, that direction I, from no, cave and ran. I clearly heard that... Rudy. Yeah, first of all, I was kicked awake. Just want to point that out. <laughs> Second of all, I heard I'm going to pee. Rudy? What? Why are you? That's that's a medicine. You're missing can, an eyelid. I can, can, can I? Can I else? call this bullshit? <laughs> he's he's obviously obviously like, like, like <laughs> it's not so much bullshit. It's just like smack talk. <laughs> okay. Well, okay, Arthur, did you find these footprints, and did you find who made them? No, I did not. It, it looks like they had a few hours on top of my, uh, uh, me discovering, so it was going to take 
way too long to be able to find whatever it was. But it was humanoid, and they looked uh, boots-like. Uh, now, I'm not sure what we fought down there that was humanoid and boot-like. Um, my dreams vaguely sort of tells me we fought something that killed my wife. Um, and it was quite a big being. Um, there was a knoll, a very big knoll, and then a nasty look. Wolf looking at like what Arthur points out, there are indeed almost like, <clears throat> almost like scourge mark boot shaped prints that lead out of the cave and down the hill. Scorch oh no! Marks. Yeah, uh, I'm assuming am I? I'm there as well at the, for this, right? Fuck it. Yeah, they look like they look like wet, but mm. also like they're burnt. And there's still fire in the cave, so we can't go. I, I didn't yes. think anything could survive that. Where where was where were they hiding? What the thing that we killed? No, the thing that came that came out of the cave that was Might I remind on everyone fire. that we did lose a hostage down there? If if the record is. Oh, the same. Nana, that is a good point. How long Maybe. would it take to get back to the cabin that we fought the boss in? The boss knock. Oh, Nana, that Nana. is a good point. Maybe, maybe like 15 minutes now that you know the way, but it's there's still mm. smoke coming out of the cavern. Mm. Um, would, mm, would smoke inhalation count? What, what would that, like, just wondering if Rudy could use his uh, um, his Do pick and use the shroud of the afterlife. Would that give him any any protection against yeah, smoke? Yeah, because because uh, smoke inhalation is considered a poison. Ah, mm. well, I mean, I could just nip down there if you guys are worried about this. I'll, I'll just cast. You know, I'll just you know, I'll, I, I'm protected from the resource of effects. Sometimes I could just go yeah. down there and check if our uh, unfortunate hostage got back or, up. Well, another uh, idea. Yes, George. I don't. Not as obviously can polymorph. She did it in the fight yesterday. Why didn't she just polymorph you into something that can deal with smoke? That could also oh, work. This is a very good idea, George. But what I do doesn't expend any energy, so to speak. Whereas what Nana does would expend uh, energy, as in her uh, energy. Arthur starts putting his hand up. Oh, hey, or Nana. a spell slot. I'll, I'll go with him. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll go with Rudy. I want to be changing this up, and that sounds like it'd be pretty cool. Can you breathe in smoke? Yeah, maybe, Jay. Actually, I don't know that there's a creature that really can breathe in smoke. I, I, don't, I don't know that we really need to do this at all. Um, oh, man, there is. I, I, think, I think Nana probably hit the, hit the nail on the head there. I, because we we went in, we didn't see anything on the way down. We didn't see anything on the way up, and we took care of everything else. So well, the I only I think it would hurt to check if if they would like to. Uh, go, I mean, hey, if, if they want to go into into burning blood town, I mean, yeah. far be it from me the to stop them. The first sight of danger, you're turning back. If it's anything other than smoke, you're turning back. Arthur. Yes. Um, yeah. If what? you're coming with me, at the yes. first sight of anything that's not burning blood. Yes. We're turning back. But, okay, why, uh, why are you saying it like that? No if, buts, or claws about uh, it. Can I just say, though, I think we're missing out uh, an important facet, because I think, I, think, I think Nana is far more right than, than any of us realise, because if you remember, back in Bora, they all, all of the undead had a very fixed direction to them, remember? They were all heading. Yes, Nana's got it. They, they were all heading towards one location to gather an army. Does Wait. Arthur? And when if he was... and if and I'm pretty sure from the seams of things that Nana's explanation is the only one that fits. Therefore, what if this is heading towards another undead army on this continent? Is Venerian with us? Yeah, Venerian is listening. I hope he is at this point. <laughs> okay. He's just listening. I bet his mind is blown. Uh, does Arthur know 
like the direction, like north southwest, that this thing was going, so that I can relay that. Oh, I reckon you would have. Very much north, almost like true north. Okay. Uh, uh, well, I uh, will... Gerald. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, Gerald, uh, look, it, it was pretty much north. Was it the, the was it moving unusually straight, or was it? Did it seem naturally? Uh, did the movement seem natural, or was it like like an arrow? Uh, well, look, I, I would do say at first it was not, but then I, it was pretty much towards the end when it was harder to track where the footprints were, I could deduce it was heading in a direction. While this discussion's going, Rudy is cast her out of the afterlife and walked into the cave. Okay. There. Gerald wouldn't notice anyway. Yeah. <laughs> well, no. right, right now, Arthur's not going to notice until you. Yeah, know. yeah, yeah. He's just walked off. He's given Venerian a nod and just walked in the cave. Yeah. Yeah, and, and it was um, pretty much that direction, Gerald. And you can walking in. You can, you're still breathing in smoke, and you can feel like the thickness in your lungs, but it's not bothering you. But you can feel like it, it's there. Right. And you go inside, and later. there's... Yeah. Uh, you go inside, and... Uh, while there's a lot of smoke, there you... You come down, and there's a few puddles of this burning blood still, and it's, it's like, just faintly sizzling away. Like, it's burning itself away, generating this smoke. It is mildly disconcerting, but not the worst I've ever seen. Yeah, you keep heading in. How far in do we want to go? He's going to check to see if the hostage has gotten up and walked out. Uh, if you're going all the way in, how long does Shroud of the Afterlife last? Ooh, that's a good question. Ah! That might be a problem. Only a minute. <laughs> <laughs> So you go in and then realize it's a power walk. Make a constitution save as uh, Shroud of the Afterlife wears off. That makes sense. That makes sense. Um, at this point, Arthur probably would realize Rudy's gone. Um, oh. uh, you are considered, you have the poisoned condition. That's it for now. That's it. Okay. He'll keep mm. going. He'll yeah, keep he going? <laughs> <laughs> um, Nana, Rudy's gone. Can you change me? I, I really think I, that'd be pretty cool. No, I can do something a little better. Um, Nana is gonna summon. Fucking ask for this, Rudy. Um, we're summoning a black bear to go and get you out of there. You stupid idiot. Wait, wh what? A black, a black bear? bear? Yeah, <laughs> Nana made it. You made a choice like you weren't you know like she wasn't sure if you weren't back in five minutes and here i thought um, you were gonna summon methods on him but but we know it takes 15 minutes to get in there what uh, nah you're gonna kill yourself you're an idiot you we're, we're sending a black bear to just see. he's already dead that don't worry <laughs> sorry what was that jesse that hmm? nana would know that it if you send in a bear, the bear would also still have to, like, go through all the smoke. Yeah, but she's hoping that, you know, get him okay. back out before he, you know. Okay, okay. Is it, uh, yeah. let me just do the thing. Where so we send the bear off to me. <laughs> hey, don't fight me. I don't think I can summon a salamander or whatever, so, um, yeah, we're summoning yeah, a bear. Is there anything you can summon that's poison immune? I don't really think so. I have poisonous things, but not necessarily poisonous. Ah. Yeah. Oh. Okay, you're sending in a black bear. Yeah, just to <laughs> check on him. And I need you to make a constitution save for the bear. Yes, let me do that. Let's see here. Constitution. You barely make it. Terms. <laughs> yes. We get one back for that. <laughs> Fine. I'll give you one back for that. Yes. yes. Uh, ooh, ten. All right. Uh, it's ten. Uh, 
The bear is also considered poisoned. It's a condition yes. that just says you have disadvantage on, I believe it is, attack rolls and saving throws. Wait, we it's... don't even take health damage? Oh, you don't take... Oh, okay, well... Then... No, not, not, not yet. Yet. Uh, yet. Not yet. Okay, okay cool. fair enough. All right, that's fine. Um, yeah, Zero oh, runs as in... You have a few minutes on them, Rudy. You head deeper in still. You get past, like, where you, uh, blinded a witherling. You just keep trekking. <laughs> <laughs> he has cast light as well on his Yeah, on his give me another constitution save. And there is uh, light, because there's these puzzle of, like, hmm. burning blood on, uh, here and there. So sometimes you have to, like, step over them or walk around them. With Jeez. disadvantage, oh. I remind you. Oh, yeah, with you disadvantage. Because you're poisoned. Because you well, the twelve. No, that's oh. That's ah. even worse. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. So you do take nine points of poison damage. That is okay. Rudy can take nine points of poison damage. Ooh. That is fine. Yeah. Can you imagine if, uh, if this is the way that Rudy dies? <laughs> that'd be so funny. <laughs> Are you all forgetting Rudy can just heal himself? Well, yeah. yeah, but you know, no, you get... probably fudge the roll. You get to the chamber <laughs> where you fought Faram. And there is still like where there was this under uh, underground like bream or brook that just flowed okay. through. That uh, divot in the ground is now filled with this burning blood. The little bridge is still intact, and on the other side in the corner you can see a charred skeleton. Huh. Hmm. That is hmm. well. I look forward to telling Gerald that he is wrong first of all. And yes, he is speaking this out loud. Uh... <laughs> And the base, the stone basin is gone. That is to be expected. I feel like that is that is it was the catalyst for the spell. Uh, what? So the the corpse of the knoll was reduced to just its skull, like the big boss knoll. He, he was yes, just a skull. there was only a skull left. Is the skull still where uh, or uh, Arthur dropped it? Uh, yes, and it's completely charred, and there's mm. only like half of it left that's mm. been burned away. It's mm. currently lying in the burning blood. Mm. Okay, so it's probably not safe to pick up. Okay. No. Um, and what about the corpse of the wolfy thing that Rudy uh, yelled at? That thing turned to uh, it burned up after it died. Okay, cool. oh, that's right. Okay, so there is an, and the pile like of, of bodies and whatnot, the pyre that's all it's just still there. Yeah. Okay. It's it's um, been reduced in volume, but it's still there. Okay. And right. uh, I would like another con save for the bear. Oh. Yes. Con save for uh, the bear and con save for Rudy. Disadvantage oh, for another one for Rudy. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Disadvantage for both. He said. Yep. Okay. Oh, okay. That's, that was the first roll. Uh, first one was. Oh, Ooh, nice. That was almost a natural one. Uh, eight was mine. Eight? Mine, uh, yep, yeah, mine was an eight as well. I'm going to see what the second one is. Oh, what? Roll, you fool! <laughs> there we go. Sorry, do I take another nine? No, you took an... I, I said a number. I can't remember it. I'm gonna you cut out when you said the number, sorry. Okay, you, six. Ah, uh, what a shame. A fucking 22. That would have been great. <laughs> the mean, first the time around. It was an eight, yeah. So four, four points of poison damage to the black bear. That should be And it Ruby, is. as you're turning around, heading upwards, uh, you come face to face with a black bear in the middle of the cavern. It's <laughs> <laughs> like coughing oh. and wheezing and cheering from the oh. eyes. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, uh, well, you are definitely not meant to be down here, which... Uh, which means... And it, it, it sort of like walks around and starts nudging you in the back. Oh, upward. oh you're like, definitely, you're oh, definitely oh. a nana bear. Okay, all right. <laughs> hold, on. Stop that. hold on. First things first. Uh, recast, uh, no, uh, recast, uh, cure wounds on the bear. And it gives you a little lick on uh, the face. 11 points to the bear. Yep. The bear that is more up. than the bear ever would need in its whole fucking Now life. we can go. Now that you're feeling a little bit better. Yeah, and so just like nudging you on, keeps walking. Oh, stop that! Waddle that! Hinder mm -hmm. there. There's less fat there than there used to be. Yeah, eventually Rudy comes up. You can hear him before you see him as he's being. <laughs> stop that! No, don't! That, don't bite that! That's not yours to bite. That. Nada, call your bear off. <laughs> nope. <laughs> yeah, and you, you get up. Uh, you come out of the cavern. 
and it's right. been like half an hour or something like that. Okay, first things first, I told you all I'd be fine. Second things second, Gerald, unfortunately, mm -hmm. our corpse is still in the ca in the cabin, completely charred, on the ground. Uh, I, I don't know what to tell you, everything was accounting for, accounted for. But what would have came out of the, the cave with those boots? Unfortunately, it's a little tricky to stay in there for anyone else aside from me, so I, I wasn't able to, like, really explore, so I, I don't think there were any hidden passageways we missed. Now I'm just imagining the fact that, like, the watery eyes you get of getting smoke yeah. in your face, but you have no eyelids to blink with, so it's like... <laughs> just, just just running. Running. So, so you'd have, like, sooty, like, smoke-covered like skin... Except yeah. for, like, two trails down yeah, here. Yeah, it, it looks like he's been crying with non-water-resistant makeup on. Um. I love it. Oh, dear. So, um. I don't know what to say, but I don't know what it was. Could it be that thing that I killed? Nope. The skull was still on the ground. And it burned, uh, the rest of it burnt away while we were all down there. Correct. What could it? What could it possibly have been then? M the, maybe uh, something. Did something go in there, and then come out? Gerald, we with your mentioned? intelligence, you would realize that these are full boot prints. Hmm. So whatever these boots were made of, they must have been resistant to all that fire. And they were made for walking. Hmm. They were. And that is just what, what they'll that do. What they do. Yeah. <laughs> I stopped myself from making the joke, and I knew someone else was going to. Because one day, I uh, well, I met a loss then. If but if it was if it was tracking a path, in, incredibly true. That I mean, the the logic seems to say that that might have been an undead thing or some sort of a thing that was being controlled or just knew which way it wanted to go very precisely I, How, I'm at a loss Gerald, now I, Gerald did the big green eyed guy was he wearing boots no he died Arthur this is no no no, no no but it, did, was he wearing boots I don't he was a skull after you did the final I blow. He I don't literally remember. disintegrated. Oh, he, did. he got stuck no, in that thing, it. though. Yeah, yeah, he was yeah. pulled into the fire. Oh, yeah. And I did oh. turn him into oh. a human for some reason. I should have tried oh. that. Arthur oh. turns around and goes, Was he wearing boots, guys? Does anyone remember if he was wearing boots? I don't know. Was he wearing armor? Yeah. What check would we do? No boots. 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 Right. Hmm. And I, and I, and I got rid of the fire as well. The whole caravan of guild members are like getting ready to leave, and mm -hmm. they're just waiting for you. Now. Uh, we should probably continue this discussion on the way. Yes, I, I, I'm keen to get away from the cave. So, yeah, let, let's get to go. Well, other jumps on horses. Your voice. Um, the bear that Nana summoned has seen Bjorn and is a little smitten. <laughs> oh. For for half an hour before it disappears. Yeah, I'm just like trying to like sidle up next to it, walk next to it, and be like, oh, "Come on, Nana." No, no. While we're while we're on our way back, we need to have a discussion about your animal manners. I uh, I sent him in just to look at, uh, just to see how you're doing. I thought I said five minutes, and if he's not back in five minutes, now I I didn't take into account that it takes a while to get down there. But I was worried about you, and rightfully so. You were looked like you were you came out crying. I don't know what you saw in crying. there. Crying? I I don't. I, oh. You do? Yeah. Oh. Does anyone have a, a is there a washcloth anymore? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I don't want it back. Oh, let, 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 uh, allow me. I'll press the digitation and give him a bit of a dust off. Thank you, Gerald. But you gather up with the rest of the caravan of people, um, start like tracking their way back. And everyone seems to be in good morale after this. Like, everyone made it through one way or, or the other. You have the two kids um, 
And uh, the kids are being led back towards Ebon's fire, and uh, there's a break off. A few of the guild members break off to go scout the um, the farms where they came from, where the gnolls had raided, to make sure it's safe before anything. Mm. So the kids are coming back to Ebon's fire with all of you. Um, and Nana as wants... you're, yeah, no, go ahead. Uh, I was gonna say Nana wants to um sort of sidle up to George uh, during their little walk back and and sort of um, have a little quiet conversation with him and say, now George, I I just think you, you ought to be thanked. You did a very brave thing getting those children out of harm's way. And I, I think that you proved us all wrong, George. I think I think there's some a very sweet heart in there. Told you guys I'm a good guy. <laughs> he gets a little a very good pinch. guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe you can tell the hat guy to stop being mean. Right. I'll put in a good word. I have a name. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get a name when you start being nice. <laughs> Start being nice okay. when you stop being a thief. I'm not a thief. I borrow. <laughs> really puts a hand on Gerald's shoulder and goes, Gerald, you're not going to win this one. Just <laughs> let it go. <laughs> let it go. Speaking of money, let though, it, <laughs> it is after the battle, and I'm waiting for the other half of. Mm, yes. Um, we will probably sort that out when we all get back to the. Uh, the guild hall. I assume they'll have payments for us. And yes, I don't let me forget. Don't let me wander off with it. Oh, don't worry. I won't let you forget. All right, all right. I earned that gold. He kind of calls back. Don't forget about my bonus to Rudy. <laughs> <laughs> what is that a bone <laughs> joke? That's a bone joke. What did you oh. all? What did you all agree to pay this rascal? This rascal who did. Uh, rescue two hostages, Gerald. I mean, we could have done that. <laughs> yeah, I know, but he didn't have to. He could have just stood behind Arthur and just cast spells. You know, alright, I'll give you that one. I'll give you that one, George. <laughs> oh, what am I getting? <laughs> hey! <laughs> oh, good, good, good. Um, <laughs> so Arthur's gonna be on the horse, but because obviously the horse can steer its own. He's going to be like this, but this time he's gone Samantha. Samantha. Not realizing he's healing. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Gerald kind of like leans over to Rudy and goes like, is, is he okay? Um, but Gerald, then, that is not a question to ask me. So after a little while, you see Arthur get frustrated and he goes, Samantha! And the claw's coming up. And he's... And then, because he got happy, they disappeared again. <laughs> Gerald, am I okay? Did we all just... Oh. She fell off his horse in surprise. <laughs> or like pops the horse like a balloon. <laughs> oh, well, the horse has already been around for a few hours, so it won't oh, last the whole day. Oh, good. <laughs> so, yeah, poor timing, but the horse disappears when your claws come out. <laughs> Shing! <laughs> this prompts another ha! from from Rudy as he goes by um, on his horse. Arthur was so happy the claws happened, but they disappeared, and he was like, oh, dang it! God damn Samantha in the back again! Ah! Oh! <laughs> Just stuck in a loop. Yeah, stuck in a loop. <laughs> Essentially. Um, it's oh. like just a roller coaster of emotion. <laughs> yeah, people do st like start avoiding Arthur when that's happening, like <laughs> making a little no, bit no, of a no. bow. I, I think I, I understand how these work now. You have to get angry. Yes. Or maybe I can always be angry that way i can use them whenever i want <laughs> I, I, that Nightfall. sounds exhausting 
just around nightfall, you see Ebon Spire in the distance. You've seen the spire itself for a while, but the city is now visible as you come over some hills. You come near, there's lights. You And coming from this side, you can see what looks like a large structure with like two massive stone chimneys that has like big plumes of smoke. And nearby, you see a large wooden platform and something that glistens faintly in the sunset that just goes off into the distance to the northeast. Mm. That would be the train we're going to get on soon, right? Mm. Well, you can see the platform and the train tracks, but not the train itself. Oh, uh, the little glistening thing. What? Possibly dragon? Yeah, it's... No, the glistening thing was just like the train tracks. Like, oh, oh. I'm sorry. When you said goes to the northeast, I thought it like flitted off. Yeah, yeah I thought it was like a uh, no, like no, metallic sorry. dragon was... flying off. No, the the train tracks are like visible. Uh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Mm. Well, those would be but the you... tracks that we're going to travel on. So. Monorail, <laughs> monorail, monorail. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so as you arrive in the city, we're going to take our quick little break. And yes, because I need to pee. Ooh, that is actually a good idea. I also <laughs> need to run to Will Fro's room. Mm. Wait, is anyone staying? I don't. Uh, uh, I will be. Yes. All right. Okay. All right. Just just um, while you guys go do your thing, Sweet. and you back. I'll right, do my thing. Chat. I'll do my I'm, okay. I'm leaving you in Arthur's I'm very you. very incapable ward hands. <laughs> there you go. It's okay. I'll be here too, Ozzy. All right, we'll be in Gouda's hands. Gouda, you're in Matt charge Lock of all. Yes. And, and there we go. Excellent. Cool. Thank there you. There we go. Now that we've been Matt established Matt the hierarchy Lock. here, Gouda, you're in charge. Yes. Oh, we can charge all right. Now that Josie's gone, does that become a Warby sitter? Warby sitter? Josie can't hear. It doesn't count as a pun, right? No. no, and also I will tell you, Josie doesn't count puns that are typed in chat because I definitely did that. Yeah, I learned that yeah. too. That's there were so many puns I almost said, mm. and then you just type them in, and then she she can't chat. Yeah. Because like, remember when Roju was like high charisma and then hide, and I was like, oh, he puts the high and hide. <laughs> I, I I can't believe I went over to you, and I'm like. Oh, that's all right. George sort of likes Arthur, so maybe you would explain what's happening. No, <laughs> George, George, George is like, whatever was happening to you was your problem, man. Like, not mine. Well, George, uh, George doesn't know what's going on. How is he supposed to know? One, he can't fully see what's going on with you. He sees that maybe you have claws, but also not as sprouted claws. He doesn't know you guys. He doesn't know that this isn't normal. <laughs> like, plus... Who's to say George even knows what a werewolf is? Well, that's true. That's He's true. Blind. So how is George supposed to help? Like, in this case, all he can really do is be like, well, you're telling me things that seem to be werewolfy, so yes, question <laughs> mark? I, I just uh, pulled up Palsy Defro's chat for a second, and he's put in there, every session I get more and more worried about Arthur. Now he has claws. <laughs> Come on. I think the people we should be worrying about is clearly Rudy, guys. He's losing he's his body. He's literally falling apart. He's literally That's falling apart. I've just grown claws, so I don't know why he's worried you about me. The Jeez. Opposite of falling apart, we gain new body parts. Yeah, look, I, I'm getting stronger. He's. Yeah, you're coming together and he's falling apart. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. That is just a time. But, uh, Gouda, mm -hmm. how much money are you trying to get out of us? Just what's due. What's due? Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just the other 75 that Nana promised uh, George, and then the 50 from Rudy that he promised. Right. And uh, to be fair, Rudy okay. offered 50 when George only asked for 10. Well, that yeah, that that is clearly um clearly Rudy's fault. Yeah, why would George say no though? Like, yeah, would anyone say no if they're gonna get like a Christmas bonus? <laughs> no, I wouldn't. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Not that's at that point. Just taking you know, come back. Uh, you Hi, back. My here. meld is here. I'm gonna go to the little orbs room. Yeah, get okay. out of here. Changing of the shifts. 
The shifts have changed. Mm -hmm. Orby was just asking how much money George is trying to get from him. I'm like, just what I was asked, you know. What was I was promised, rather. I <laughs> return. All the money. Mm. All the money. No, I think between both Nana and Rudy, we we offered George the same amount that any other guild mem member was being paid. It was just uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yes. So Rudy can give him fifty, and Nana props him another seventy-five. Correct. Mm -hmm. exactly. That was what we said. Yeah. Which I can, can you Rudy I can pay over died. now, but I'd rather just wait till I get the whole thing, and then I can just do it all at once. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, speaking of. Uh, um, yeah. Oh, are we are we are we backish? No, we're not really back. Yet. No, we're we're brand off. So I was gonna do a quick recap because we got some newcomers in chat. That oh, just hey. Hello, things. newcomers. We love newcomers. Hello. Hello. Uh, new, not newcomer, newcomer, but people oh. who who showed oh. up within like the last 15, 20 minutes. Well, we Missed love you everything. guys. Everything. The campaign's You're over. All awesome. No, I stand by my hello. hello. <laughs> I don't. You're all fantastic. Wow. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Karen says, I'm not new to coming. <laughs> oh. Oh. Like into it. Oh, really cool. chat for that. I always go into Twitch chat. So no, no, no. It was spelled. It was spelled the R rated way. Uh, I don't get it. Explain ooh, it to ooh. me more. Okay, <laughs> I will. <laughs> so, in great detail. The word, the word <laughs> please, coming. Please do the recap, Josie. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I have to go. My mom is calling me. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Cuddly, come back. I miss you. Siri isn't your okay. mom, Cuddly. <laughs> no, I'm her mom. But no, uh, so far today in the session, the party has um, debriefed uh, what happened in the cavern to uh, the guildmaster. They uh, talked to the person yeah. who sadly fell during combat and uh, got consent to resurrect them, which they then did. They also found some footprints that Arthur tracked for a few hours and then decided to turn back before it was too late. George is um, showing his soft sides and is uh, Gerald is uh, stressed. <laughs> <laughs> when is he not, though? So. <laughs> so, so and Rudy normal, is then. even less <laughs> Oh, there's yeah. even less of Rudy around. I would say Rudy is more of a Rudy than he was when he started this campaign. And but if we're talking physically, man. then yes, there is less Rudy to go around. He's literally beside himself. Well, oh, Who's oh, stressed oh. to be blessed? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel that. Uh, but yeah. So, uh, I know we're waiting for Orb still, but going forward, you have... Um, Three days before uh, before you are supposed to present yourselves to the queen and then go to the train. Mm. And yeah. you, I know that there's some stuff to pick up. There's some items. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You also now have some money if you want to go do some shopping yes. because you didn't you didn't look Arthur around to, all uh, the places. To but give yeah. people the split. Hmm. So. so. For that... brevity's sake, you, you arrive, it's very late when you arrive, you all get paid, uh, you get your money Gee. from the guild. Uh, how much did we get paid? I, uh, I'm gonna have to look at my note, to be honest. 200, I think. Whatever, whatever I amount. I believe it was 200 each. Mm. 200 makes sense. 200 platinum! <laughs> no. <laughs> 200. No. Nice, two hundred gold. Oh, <laughs> Can't imagine that. Yeah, uh, yes, it was. It was two hundred, two hundred each. Okay, okay. but awesome. George can add seventy-five, and I'm just going to add. Um, yes, take Rudy that would off. also okay. split out fifty of it and give it to George as well. Nice, nice. And now the... we... George get two hundred from the guild. No. <laughs> Okay. George does not get paid by the guild. That's why they were paying you. I didn't think so, you're... but I went to see if... <laughs> you would have needed to oh, join Asian the guild. I can just imagine he just stands in line for his pay anyway. He'd just be like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he lines up and they sort of just glare at him. I have some more? Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what I was going for. That. Exactly. I, I but, can also... Yeah. yeah. That's good. The <laughs> evening, you, you all get paid. 
uh, you get your money from the guild. Venerian says he has to go um, tell, like, report to the queen about what happened. Um, he's also waiting for uh, to hear back from the scouts that went to check out the farms. And you are... It's it's getting late. It's like... Late is... It's, it's a long shot. But it's, it's getting closer to like 9pm. And the sun is, has gone down fully by now. And... Uh, Unless there's anything specific, let me know uh, what you want to do. Yeah, um, Gerald would wait for a time where George is not around the rest of the party um, okay. to divvy out the contents of the um, of the coin box that we got down mm -hmm. in the down in the thing. Um, <clears throat> so um, split between us. Uh, a, I calculated it, and you should have, um, let's see here, so that'll be, uh, 262 gold. Okay. Each, 262 yep. gold. And uh, then, if I split that, that actually makes it... Arthur needs to spend his money, Jeez. Seven, uh, 67 silver. And 225 copper. No, I just got my coppers down. What the yeah. fuck? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I like paid in like pennies for this one stupid thing so I can get rid of all the coppers. <laughs> oh dear. Um, and then uh, with the gems, there's 1,250 gold worth of gems each. Oh. Uh, you would have to check I guess I guess we'll just sell them <laughs> yeah. well the gem, gems are like gems are kind of like just a more convenient form of currency because they take up a lot like less space, less space. and less mm. weight not that we're dealing with actual coin weight in this game okay. mechanically okay. but like but just, just yeah, for like that's... imagination's purpose yeah. like the yeah. gems are just like you know an easier way Are, to carry large amounts. Did, we used all the diamonds from those gems, though, right? No, uh, we used Rudy half has of them. Yeah, Rudy has taken all the diamonds from the gems, yeah. Okay, so yeah. what yeah. was that one... So, th so this is, yeah, this is the split not including the diamonds. So the diamonds yeah. were, I put as a separate amount. Um, mm -hmm. So that was a thousand that was just Rudy for, you know, diamond use. And then, yeah, the other 5,000 is split, so that's uh, 1,250 in gems each. Yeah. Okay. Where do I put that? Do I just put that in the notes? As you could, yeah, you, you can, can put it as an item. You can put it as an item, or you could just put it as gold. And, yeah. Oh, I'll you just know, do that. Yeah. That would much be much better. I'm probably um, going to... Yeah, maybe... I mean, I'm going to be that person. Can you say that again for the last yeah. time? That's why I wrote it down. <laughs> 200 and, so it's 262 gold. Yep. Um, and then 67 silver. Yep. 225 copper yep and then 1250 gold worth of gems that split the gems sweet huh that that is what you get off the gems yeah that is, that is your split yeah mm -hmm. okay so is there anything else that your characters want to do this evening um i do have a quick question for you but it's something that i think i should put in a dm do you mind if i dm you a question real quick or should i just say it out loud just just say it is now a good time for george to say goodbye uh it's that's up to you or should i wait that's i don't want to mess up the story for me okay. don't be. No, it's, that's completely up to george all right george probably the time that gerald would be able to find his time away from george would be after george said something about all right i got him paid I did the thing. Peace. Mm -hmm. It was nice seeing you, 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 and you. <laughs> I should probably tell who he points to at which part. <laughs> Wait, what did I do? I... Oh, I've been... Oh. <laughs> Nada was the first one. Arthur was the second. Rudy and Gerald. <laughs> yeah. <Yay. And> <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I, I wasn't even looking. I assumed. <laughs> <laughs> Likewise, George. Honestly, you—I I think you are—you are 
definitely growing on us. If you need any assistance and you can find your way to us, don't hesitate. I, I you've, um, you're definitely, definitely, uh, you've got a good head on those shoulders. But, and then and Rudy, like, elbows George for saving those hostages. <laughs> oh, the yeah, the kids, yeah. Yeah, did you say elbowing George or Gerald? Oh, Gerald, Gerald. Sorry, I meant to say Gerald. No, oh, my bad. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I figured, I figured contextually you probably yeah, meant yeah, me, but, <laughs> but you said Gerald George. Gerald, George. I'm, yeah. Oh my God, I'm sorry. I'm like, yeah, too many Gerald. Gerald. Ow, Gerald. Ow. Yeah. <laughs> you weren't uh, completely terrible this time, George. You're saying I was last time? Okay. Yes. <laughs> no hesitation. <George, laughs> it was like immediately yes. <laughs> George, he's he's trying. Please just go. I wouldn't. <clears throat> and he sort of looks at Nana and Rudy like pointedly, like like this is for you. <clears throat> <laughs> I wouldn't mind it if we saw each other again in the future. And perhaps had an opportunity to build more trust. Trust is a hard commodity, but I guess you're not the worst person in the world. Oh, I can't hear you. Sorry, Gouda. Yeah, you gotta oh, turn your mic up a little bit. Sorry, it's a little far for me. What did you say? I broke my mic. Hold on. <laughs> no! Oh, no! 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 <laughs> <laughs> the, Hang on. The, Who said we wouldn't have technical problems? <laughs> Ozzy did. Wow. <laughs> Ozzy. So, no. Wow. But but Roji said no, that Roji things said couldn't get no. worse. No. So. No. Well, terms of, I hope George makes it out without with everything but the kitchen sink. <laughs> At this point, George can only get the kitchen sink. <laughs> I'm not sorry. I'm still not sorry. Trady <laughs> yeah, no, you. It's a Trady okay. Rady. Oh, Trady Rady. Oh, hi, Trady. Welcome hi. in. We're just in the middle of a scene. Okay. We'll be right with you. Broken again. It could just sit there for now. It's the stand's broken. Oh. Uh. Yeah, it's been broken for a while, but it's yeah. Anyways, George said that you weren't the worst hum or worst person in the world. Oh. High praise. Aww. High praise. <laughs> High praise. <laughs> High praise. <laughs> Is George heading out without actually pooping off into the another yeah. dimension? Ah, okay. Well, then he will get a, a muffin or two for the road for sure. Obviously, they're chocolate chip too. So, you know. Those are yummy. I want a non-chocolate chip muffin. What the heck? I, I just want. Mm, mm. It's yeah. for me. Can we all just like, just come around for chocolate chip muffins, and just. When is banana <laughs> cookbook yeah. coming out? Every every like right? three months, mm. just pops in. Muffins, thank you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> yeah. Bye, George. George. Leaves, heads out the door, and just walks off. He gets a little cheek pat before he goes. You know, I the one I, on the face. I thought I expected some form of like I don't know. How did George George just disappeared last time? I thought I expected more. Like I don't know. Look at him; he's just walking off into the crowd. I mean, no, it is strange to see him walk it away. Is. Instead I, of... I was kind of like imagining in my head, um, like him sort of like. Walking off down the street, like, ah, time for another new. <laughs> well, we'll never know. We'll never know. Oh. But, um, it's been great having you. And if you wouldn't mind leaving, even if you turn off your camera, if you leave the call on so we don't fuck up. Yeah, I can do that. Oh, you don't have to leave, uh, though. Tab for the people in chat. You never no, have no. to leave, Judy. You, you, you can, can hang stay around. Forever. You can stay for the rest of the stream. Stay? No! no! Oh. So, the next morning come to. It is now the 25th of Aureli. 
Two days until the oh, train really? leaves. <laughs> no! <laughs> two puns. Let's go. <laughs> Oh no, we got yeah, one. That's I was right. hoping Guru would be there for the punishment. I, I, I should have said my own. Um, <laughs> Arthur's going to be awake oh, early, but he's in a really good mood for some reason. He, he's just felt like he's well rested. He's going to get some food, and he's going to be like a little child waiting for everyone else to wake up on Christmas Day. Mm. Mm -hmm. Are you, yeah, you wake up the next day. Those of you who want to prepare any spells, feel free to do so. Uh, but you have two days, so if there's anything particular you want to get done, we could we could do so with uh, with a bit of brevity. I know that George, no Gerald, do uh, you mm -hmm. want to go pick up the rod eventually? I do. Yes. You should be able to search for an item called the Gerald's rod. <laughs> <laughs> that is... oh, no. oh gosh, what is what is this? Gerald's rod. <laughs> I kind of want to look it up as well. <laughs> All right, let's let's see how this turned out. It is basically a, a rod form of it's like a fusion of the Ring of Spell Storing and yeah, cool. Uh, so it's it's it works the same way as the Ring of Spell Storing that you cast a spell into the rod and then you can cast it through the rod. Cool. Uh... And it should also give you the plus one to attacks and saves. Oh, awesome. But so theoretically, could he, could he have a ring of storing and the rod of storing? Mm, no, I, yeah. put, I, I combined the two. Oh, but yeah, yeah, like well, if you got another future. one. Yeah, if you got yeah. another one. You also, you also do have your staff of, uh, like your, your staff of power. <gasps> yeah, yeah, yeah. Two wheeled staffs. Yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah. That's, if you have the that's the plan. Oh, okay, that's kind of cool yeah that's so kind of cool i gotta so 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 the plan is so i'm attuning to the rod um and actually let me just set that uh but i need to give up something uh, an attunement um and i'm going to be giving up uh somewhat sadly but i'm going to be giving up the cloak of protection yeah so if anyone wants to grab that that's up for game i do Are know that sure? nana doesn't Nana doesn't have a single item attuned. What? <laughs> oh, well, th just chuck the cloak on Nana. Hey, Nana. you're done. I'm Perfect. too sure. You're not too sure. No. no. Magical Magic items. Magic mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because I can't get rid of the headband of intellect. I feel like I'm basically stuck with that forever. <laughs> um, <laughs> in this, in that particular slot. And that slot. was the first magical item I think we've yeah. got. So yeah, I thought yeah. I was attuned to the spoon. No, it doesn't yeah. require attunement. Huh. The spoon is well, just a spoon. I might need to attune to spoon. the quarter staff, though. How many do if you want to use it, yeah. If yeah. you want to use the Skyblinder staff. Cool, and now I can delete the rod of the Pact Keeper uh, off my just thing. Just when I thought I was getting this game, now I have to find attunement. <laughs> uh, is there attunement <laughs> on your character? Yes, there is. You actually is have to right? set the attunement to uh, get any benefit it. from I the item. It. I could have I could yeah, wait, hang on. Mm. So you go really? your infantry, and then you go all yeah, the way all down. the way down to the bottom, and you'll see a tune. Oh, oh I I have a tune to the dragon scale mail, so that's good. Yeah, yeah. And, and you'll see oh, items wait. requiring a tune, and you can tick the boxes. Oh, them. okay, so that is Rudy's only. So Nana, if you search and mm. add a cloak of protection, yeah, mm. okay, it good. Sure. Uh, However, you will your... require extra sleep. Yeah, it does require you to sleep for longer, two hours longer. Then we will make breakfast. I was going to say our breakfast is now two hours later. Yeah, or what the heck? Go to bed two hours early. Yeah, Nana won't do that. Oh, Nana, Nana likes no, the Nana, no, Nana, Nana can have like a Nana bedtime now. Cool. <laughs> Look at oh, Cuddly. Man. Cuddly's like, yuck. Uh, and Forcing you, this cloak on me. You, you added that? You should definitely. It's, it's a great cloak. I mean, apart yes. from the extra sleep. What does it do? So it that gives was you... one to AP and saving throws. Yeah. Mm. It's it's pretty good. It's pretty oh, good. Yeah. That's pretty good. It's, it is very right. good. <clears throat> like I'm I'm losing um, one AC for it, but you know I'm okay. I'm okay with it because the. You could also, if you wanted to, um, if Nana wants to use the flame tongue, 
Mm -hmm. the, the burning scimitar. Yeah, flame tongue. Rudy would it? request again. If, that you search we... it's, if you search flame tongue, you should be able to find an option where it says scimitar in brackets. Yes. Yeah. Oh, it's, it just it's not fucking even in it's just... badass. Yeah. It, you also need to attune to that, but you can do it. You have enough okay. time. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Keep that sword away from me, Nana. I'm not not a fan of that one. Oh. Yeah. Oh. It, is, it. it is quite dangerous. It is. Uh, I mean. Holy crap! It does it does it's catch really on fire funny. quite literally. Mm. Oh, you should like this though. It uh, sheds bright light in a forty foot radius. I, I don't mind that as so much. It's just that Ergothor is a little finicky when it comes to Saren Ray. Oh no, is Saren Ray also a pallid princess now? No, 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 no. Zaren Ray is his previous deity. She's all yes. jealous. No, Gerald. Yes. Part of the joke. Everyone's trying to be a fucking princess. And then just kind of shuffles off and mumbles. <laughs> okay. All right. If we're going to be like that, I'm going to go off and get my... <laughs> see if that old man is done with my clothes. Can I... Um, so can I ask, what... Um, with the rod, what modifications mm -hmm. have been, like, visually, like... So I can picture it. What, what's different about it now? It looks very similar. It just looks polished, cleaned up. Uh, another pearl of power has been inserted where the one was removed. Mm -hmm. And instead where you had the ice, like the little Sferera uh, disc, mm -hmm. around that as well is now almost like wound, like braided into the roots that hold the pearl is the ring. So there's like oh. gold, a golden like ring that just loops through the roots at the bottom of the rod. Cool. But it looks it looks cleaned up like uh, it's it's been just finished off properly. Nice. Your rod got a proper finish. Yeah, rod got a bit of a spit polish. <laughs> got anyway, you. yes, Rudy. <laughs> <you want> <laughs> All Rudy, right. you can oh, go. Yes, sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Ooh. I mean, is anyone coming with Rudy or? Uh, yeah, actually, Nana will tuck the sword away because she actually needs to buy something as well. So yeah, she'll oh, kind yeah. of follow and she'll like shuffle off and then she'll see that you're leaving. Like, oh, where are you? Where are you going? Remember, I commissioned some clothes to, you know, He's getting up. a cod piece. No, oh, Nana. Oh, the cod that piece. Was... No, not the cod right. piece. Right. How, no, what uh, size did you sorry, end up going for? I can't tell for? you how it looks on you. I'm sure it'll look fine. Uh, oh, we just, oh, I hope. I mean, I mean, you're going to need something to fill out once you lose every bit of your flesh. You made me spit take. Uh, Arthur, <laughs> Arthur's gonna say, "I'm gonna go find someone, go and chant something," and he's gonna run off to go do that. Oh, um, before everyone yeah. goes, uh. I, I just realized we've got a few things also. Um, did we want to... Uh, Nana, did you want... Or Rudy, one of you two. Uh, did you want this wand of the war mage we picked up? Uh, what does it do? I don't think I can use wands. The wand of the war mage. While holding oh, this wand, you gain a plus one bonus to spell attack rolls. In addition, you ignore half cover when making a spell attack. Wait, hang on. Have, just by holding it? it? Just by attuning yeah. to this to this wand okay. and yeah, holding it. You should have it. But would that mean because Rudy's got a shield is the you shield... You don't need to hold it. I you don't just need to just attune it. to it. Uh, well, it depends. Like, Rudy is very much specced into a lot of melee now, so if... Mm -hmm. Although, Nana, how many attunement slots have you used? How many do I have? Because I didn't two. attune to anything yet. You have three and you've used two. I guess Banana we could both use it. use it. Um, I mean, it depends. If you, I have if... three things that I can attune to, though. The cloak, the scimitar, and the sky, sky blinder staff. So you should... You sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I... Were we going to give that sky blinder staff to um, Sin? Yeah, now that it's... um. Well, yeah. did we decide it was we... a bit like... It was a bit... I mean, you, you, should, you, should, you should use it if, if you want it. Mm, I mean, I can use quarter staffs. So, yeah, yeah. It's, it's more like an anti-air option, you know. Yeah. Um, I mean, if you if you want to take that one, Cuddly, I'll take the wand. It is up to you. I just think Rudy. I've, I've sort I of think put I think one more... of you two should use it. 
Yeah. Mm. <laughs> because you both have uh, you got both have spells that have attack yeah. rolls. All right. Well, what, what's it called? Okay. Uh, Wand of the War Mage. Wand of the War Mage. Yeah, the plus yeah. one version. Plus, plus one. I mean, to be base. honest, I kind of want to give her the fucking cloak because I'm just afraid of all our NPCs going away. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if you give her the cloak, she'll oversleep and miss class in the morning. Oh, you're right. <laughs> yeah. And then she'll hate me. study time. Yeah, yeah. Oh, precious study time. I'll find something nice to, to send her, I'm sure. While you settle that, uh, Arthur, what was your plan? Um, so Arthur... You, I know, I will say, I will say first, uh, since you have been part of the process before, you know that enchanting something takes time, and you're leaving in two days. Which is why Arthur's going to keep that in mind. Uh, Arthur essentially just wants to up his armor AC, um, okay. which he's wearing leather at the moment, mm -hmm. which he's hoping to keep, but maybe enchant it in some way to protect him in a little bit more, either to, like, a a damage type or even gain more um ac in, in a certain thing but he, he was gonna go talk to someone and if he couldn't do that he was just maybe gonna go look at some medium armor or something like that yeah i well... think uh, there is you do know that there is a piece of magical armor available uh that uh even as skysor was selling mm -hmm. there is a mariner's breastplate yeah, was that medium armor thing? I believe breastplate is medium armor. I think, I'm pretty yeah, sure I, I think still it's am holding this fucking medium armor for, from ages ago. Scale mail. Yeah, yeah, we've, got that, mail. yeah we've got that magical so scale mail, right? right? No, this one. It's just common. Oh, just common. Yeah. yeah. Still, but it would but it have great AC. Than what, what, what does that do? Protect you. Protects you. It's just yeah, better but... AC than what you're wearing. Yeah, yeah it's just but, medium. No, the magical one. We don't. Oh, mm -hmm. the no. marina's one. Uh, the magical one. It's a mariner's armor. Mm. So what it does mm. uh, is that it gives you a swimming speed, and if you go unconscious underwater, it bobs you up to the surface. Arthur hates being in war in the first place. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like yeah, a, it's a, it's a, life. yeah, it's a life jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Can I imagine it's bright orange like one too? Oh, I hope so. Yeah, because uh, a scale uh, mail, a scale mail would give you disadvantage on stealth. Yeah, yeah, which I'm trying to avoid. But um, you could, you could buy very easily. You could just buy studded leather, which is one upgrade from what you currently are wearing. Uh, yeah, studded leather would give you plus. Uh, it would bump your AC by one point, and it's, uh, it's and the breastplate will gold. give me what two. Breastplate, um... Uh, Mariner's eight, Breastplate eight. is AC 14. Yeah, plus Dexterity, but it can only use up to two points of Dexterity, so your AC would be 16. So, that so would that's the plus you. one. Yeah, and it does not give you disadvantage on stealth. Hmm. I might... Yeah, I might also gives you a swimming speed, which is nice. Yeah, I I, I yeah. might go buy that breastplate. Uh, the breastplate is being sold, uh, as you remember, by Ivanis for two hundred gold, but some people have bought it but returned it <laughs> <laughs> because they they claim they keep hearing whispers. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's probably <laughs> fine and nothing. You also know because Ivanis told you that uh, this armor was actually belonged to someone who got hung for murdering his own family. <laughs> the deal gets better! Yeah, I love how you're like, I think that I'm just still going to do it even though Josie's like, please don't get this. Please that just means there's no one to lay claim to the property. So mm. it's, mm. you know, mm. you, you know, it's got yeah. a clear uh, order Arthur's of uh, ownership. He's going to buy it, but he's going to take it to take someone. <laughs> That can I have a better look into it to get rid of this mm. whiskers? Um, so just checking, nobody wanted this scale mail because then Nana can offer it to Arthur so he can like offset the cost. It's 50 gold to sell it. Yes, but it is it is in pretty shabby condition. This is one you found buried in the ground in the first world. Mm. So oh, they will yeah. offer half price for it. So you can- Okay, you so can, 25 off. It's 25 also- 
I would argue it's an antique then, Josie. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, and it should be worth 75 gold. <laughs> well, Nana's not a haggler, Arthur, so Nana just... Arthur, make, if you want to haggle for it, make a persuasion check. Yeah, do it. Roll the dice. We love rolling dice here. Mm. What a swan, Jesus. Wait, what? Ten. Ten. Oh. No. <laughs> the, even if it's like... Anyone could pull a story like that. There's no way to prove it. Uh, We're going to come back and it's all like cleaned up and on display on the wall or something. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. 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 Others yeah. is going to buy it. So what was it? Big two... From the first world. Yeah. <laughs> was it 200 gold? So one of the kind. Minus 25. <laughs> minus 25. So it's 175. 175. Yeah. I just, just want to get it out of my bag. Well. Yeah. 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 But now you can remove it. If there's anything that you all want to sell to get rid of your e from your inventory as well, um, just say. Yeah. Um, did you did, have one of you written the Wand of the War Mage down? I have got it. Yes. You have got I've it. Got Sweet. it and a tune right. to it. Yep. Uh, I'll delete it from my inventory then. I really want to uh, use my gems and like exchange them or sell them, get the gold, and then buy some really rare uh, cooking oil. Okay, how much would you would you want to spend? There is a jeweler who will definitely mm -hmm. buy the gems from you. No issue, you get full price because gems are gems. Awesome. They have a constant value. Yep, yep, yep. So 1,250. And what uh, I would like to... Oh, where are you? Are you looking Just... for material components for spells? Mm -hmm. Maybe. Okay, that's also something I would recommend for you all to do. To uh, sure I that... would... I'm just making sure I'm not buying too much or too little here um you write down when you put it in your inventory you could you can write like oh um ingredients for casting of spell and then you could just write how many of those you have mm. oh nice okay uh well i oh yeah i would like to spend do you know what why don't I spend all of it? One thousand two. No, no, no. We'll just spend a thousand. That's a lot of gold. Yeah, a thousand what? gold. What are you on getting? Rare, yeah, rare, rare cooking oil. Is That's it. it. Just, you know, what is, this, what is this for? Nothing. <laughs> I want to know. I want to know. <laughs> It's it's hard to find exactly what you're looking for, but you feel like you get, for this value, you could definitely get the ingredients to like if you work overnight, you could make the oil. So you would, you would like, like buy all the ingredients, yeah. and then you'll just infuse the oils overnight yourself. Yeah, or like some some sort of cooking or like um, an unguent, you know, like some sort of cooking yeah. or healing. Yep, yeah. cool. Yes. I will add that. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Um, you sell well. some stuff. Uh, I'm gonna sell my quarter stuff. Okay, I have quarter stops. I don't value. Pardon? This is a stick. Does it, does it have any stick. value? Uh, <laughs> it says it has 0 0.2 gold. So it's but two silver. You can get a silver piece for it. One I was going to say, piece. he did smack a lot of things with it, so it's probably dented. Uh, and... Wow, don't you dare. Don't you dare. <laughs> two silver. Uh, let's have a look. I've got two potions of healing, a potion of climbing. I'll keep that. Uh, he'll sell his leather armor. It's okay. Ten gold. Yeah, go for it. Um, Rudy does the same thing. Ah, yeah. He's uh, got leather on. Doop, boop, 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 boop. Uh, Arthur needs to buy more arrows. Mhm. Mm yeah, that so could be done. He's just gonna buy. Uh, let's go fifty. Mhm. Mm uh, what are they? Two. You do find, I will say uh, one morning that you when you're woken uh, you wake up there is a goblin hanging out in the guild hall and some people are like bartering he's got a big chest of junk on oh. a table oh okay yep I'll definitely and he does have in in this in this uh, in this chest he does have what he claims to be an unbreakable arrow oh uh, and he after... offered to try it. he offered you to try shooting it Arthur shoots it. Cause yeah, you should add like a target. They have like a dartboard in, in, the the room. Room. in the room. Okay. Though. Yeah. Uh, how close to the dartboard are you? Um, he wouldn't be paying attention to where he is, so probably, unfortunately, close-ish. Okay. Uh, so roll an attack roll. Yeah, I'm doing that. <laughs> Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Uh, roll for okay. damage. 
Oh. <laughs> yeah, Rudy wasn't so, expecting it, so I'll take yeah, seven. Yeah. Yeah. But, but you do take half damage from right. ranged weapon. Yeah, so I you shoot the arrow towards the dartboard. The, the arrow looks like it's going for a bullseye, then turns and just fucking hits Rudy in the ass for a level. <laughs> oh, what the? What the? What? I... That arrow is bent. That arrow doesn't fly straight at all. Yeah, uh, as oh. you try to break, like as you go to try to break it off, it is an unbreakable arrow. You have to pull it out. Oh. <laughs> oh. Arthur goes up the What, what goes kind of arrowhead? Um, Has it got like a? It's regular. Uh, it's a regular. <laughs> it, it, it's good. No, you mean not? No, no. Yeah, I'm, I'm pulling it out. No, Stop no, moving. Ben is watching this over no, Rudy, 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 bend over and let him pull out. No. <laughs> <laughs> the ship sails again. <laughs> it's just turned. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, Arthur's gonna take hold of the arrow. Table. No, Rudy, see, he's Rudy, moving Rudy, around so much. Rudy, it's so contest the strength. Contest the strength. <laughs> push it up. Okay. okay. Sure. Both of you make strength checks. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, um, what am I rolling terribly today? <laughs> That's an eleven. Oh There's my, my strength. God. There it is. Oh. Uh, Oh shit, I did worse. Seven. So, yeah, Arthur, you can't seem to get a hold of it. Rudy's pushing you off, keeping you in distance. You know what? We need a flail. Rudy, <laughs> Rudy is marching up to this goblin, going, What are you thinking, letting letting archers fire crooked arrows like this? Look at it. it if he, he fired straight and true, Arthur never misses his target. And look at it, it's done. Well, yeah, yeah. sir, that's something that might interest you. Sir, it just me. There's a if you're in my me distract you from the pain. Please have a look at this. And he just grabs a cloak that looks like a half circle cloak. Sir, you look like someone of fashionable choices. Oh, well, I. And he just flicks the cloak and it changes to a long green cloak. No. Oh, and then is... flicks it again and it changes to like this shimmery royal with a puff, the puff collar. Oh, oh okay. Well, the cloak of oh, many oh. facts. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. This is this is very. Yeah, and while yanked. this is happening, Arthur, you yank the arrow out. <laughs> this is this is very extravagant. Um, and and, and, and... Tell me he falls over like Shrek. Come on, this is like. <laughs> no, this is not Shrek. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, and, uh, just for your for your injury, I can knock off ten percent of the price. Okay, what are we what are we talking? 45 gold. And does it do anything aside from just change shape? Nope. Okay. What if I but was... Change it into anything. What would you like it to okay. look like? Uh, change it into looking like that wall just there and hold it up against the wall for me. It's a cloak. It's not a wall. But change it to look like it. Fine. Just, like, flex it and it gets, like, a wood grain-ish print pattern, holds it up. Does it, does it sort of, like, seem like someone would mistake it for, this, for no. like, no, not at all? No. Mm. Not very but, but sir, if you're, if you're, in, and it just flicks it, becomes, like, a very black with a hood. Oh, I've already then, got and... clothes lined up that I need to go pick up. Right. Why am I here getting arrows fired into my ass and... Uh, um... Well, 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 I'm behind Rudy. Does this mm. arrow look any different from any other arrows? No. Alright, so Arthur's gonna do a slight of hand, where he's gonna oh, replace oh, the normal oh, arrow oh, no. with uh, the fake one. Make a slight of hand check. Arthur, oh, Arthur. Geez, Nana Arthur. has gone back to oh, her my god. see this. Oh, yeah. That's oh, what's going to do. Oh, Man god. rolls a hand. Oh, arrow. You, you roll, hand the arrow back. And the goblin takes it, places it back into the box. Oh. Good is like you're learning from George. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> uh, what and, else do uh, you have in your way? Wow. Oh yes, uh, I have. Uh, I have this and holds up the cloak. No, I've seen that. What? Else? I also have this. Holds up a what looks like a spell scroll. Oh, what? Up good. from behind Arthur's shoulder. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what, what's you the look like an arcane persuasion. <laughs> might interest you. <laughs> oh, yes, I am. <laughs> oh, yes, I am. Sorry, what was that? A scroll of illusory script. Uh, how much is that? It is 30 gold pieces. Arthur, normally sure. we ask what it does before we ask how much it is. Uh, uh, Arthur, <laughs> it. 
You don't even know what it is. <laughs> Classic. This is where my Wonderful. headaches come from. This is where my headaches come from. My friend. My friend. And there's a few guild members as well. Like someone has bought some knickknacks. They're looking around. The two pieces. This really brings me here today. I have. It brings up a bottle with a liquid. That looks it looks almost like there's no liquid in it at all. It's just this ever faint sloshing sound. A potion of invisibility. Mm. Nah, I can turn invisible anyway. Can you? You can't you're not George. Can you? Get out of here. It just puts the potion back. There's a lot of few people like I mean someone Gerald, like looks at the price tag and goes like Gerald, wouldn't you like something like that? I know you you, you sometimes need to get out of some sticky situations. Uh, I used to have one. I used it in the Linorm situation, but it yes. didn't really help at that point, unfortunately. Uh, just, just just before you do, I, I can cast a spell, Pass Without a Trace. That's not That's invisibility. Not invisibility. Well, yes, but it's it's close enough. It's no. <laughs> but, no, but what if Gerald You're is still perfectly visible. and needs to immediately disappear uh, and you're somewhere else? Uh, good. Well, if I can't see them, they can't see me, and uh, so therefore I'm invisible. Good. And Nana pushes through. How much is How that? How much is the potion? That logic doesn't... <laughs> Five thousand gold pieces. Okay, that's Oh, awesome. get out no, of here. That's, no, okay. that is... Yes, yes, uh, that's... That's a little bit uh, presumptuous. It's a rare commodity, okay? And so is my ass, but now there's a we hole just, in it, okay? No, no, we, we well, know your potion is of the highest I have something, quality. I have something for, for holes. And then girls well, probably um, just in the tent and holds the... up a key. <laughs> uh, holds up a what? A key. <laughs> now this. That was a segue. Uh, what so it was? I guess so. Maybe, if you'll let me finish, sir. This is a key of good luck. <laughs> How can you prove it's good luck? <laughs> no, it's a key of good luck. <laughs> oh, luck. <laughs> oh, luck. I, I thought I heard luck. I'll give you one back. Give you one back. That, was, that was amazing. <laughs> so, sorry. Uh, can you come again? What did you just say? Key of good luck. Cuddly's <laughs> gone. Good luck or good luck? That is mad, Rudy. What is luck? Luck. Rudy, Rudy hands him a piece of paper and a quill. Yeah, you're right. Luck. L O C K. Luck. Right. Good How it luck. makes a good luck or a bad luck? No, this is a key. Okay, but what makes it a good, good, a good luck? Look, listen. I don't name the things. I got a guy for that. <laughs> well, you need to hire a new guy. This uh, like I can just imagine he just puts on another hat. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this key. Listen, this key is very special. This key will work on any lock. Once. And then? And then it stops working. Okay, so it's a one and done. Yes, okay. but any lock. That's okay. pretty. That's, that's pretty useful. Pretty cool. How, yeah. how much are you charging well, for that? He, he does. He does put up like a few padlocks. No, don't. Different... No, no, no. He, he just holds the key close, and as it gets close to the lock, you can see the actual head of the key starts reforming, and it like mm. seems to adjust itself as he's holding it close to the various locks. Ah. That's but cool. he only yeah. works once, and yeah. then it's in that shape permanently oh okay mm. you know if someone bumped you then and that key went into that lock you would it, it completely oh, okay. have... that, right. mm. that would be a very expensive padlock <laughs> 300 gold and this key is yours i mean yeah Arthur's that's like, not yeah. that's not terrible it's not not the worst. Uh, look, if you one of you want, I can put some money towards it. If Nana, you're interested stop in this, stop buying thing. things for us, please. Oh, I have to buy things for my boys. But she's very <laughs> did you just did you just pinch Rudy's cheeks? No, like like the very very <laughs> case because she's very aware that the cheeks could come off. Did you touch yeah. his skin at all? At all? Yeah. No. Jersey? No. You know, the, it's there, but it's it's kind of gross touching him. It's very like. 
It didn't it's come like, off, though? You're like, you're, they, no, they don't come off, but they are, like, very parchmenty. They're, like, stretched mm-hmm. and dry. Yeah, and she gives him, like, a little pat and says, oh, we won't do that again. <laughs> getting a bit leathery. <laughs> yeah. Oh, do I need to moisturize more? I'll get I... I'll find my, my lavender oil. Honestly, I think it might be a... Uh, not a bad thing to pick up. No, um, not at all. Wait, you know, you like, it to us, so it 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 okay, but I mean, I suppose we could always just. Hmm. I mean, now I you can put like a like, hundred like, gold all kinds, you know. Uh, you never know. <clears throat> but, Arthur's but, um, so sick of your indecisiveness, and he throws how... three hundred gold down. No, Arthur. No, oh, I was just about to do a thing. <sighs> No, Arthur, I was going to do a thing. Uh, oh, God, I don't <laughs> he, want to He thing. removes the Anna Gold and he goes, God, you guys take so long shopping. Come on. Oh, oh that's, that's, that's you, fresh sir. coming from you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, hang on. So, I've got the arrow. What's the scroll called? Uh, it's a scroll, spell scroll first level of the spell Illusory Script. Do I know this one? Yep. And then the key... Uh, the key is a key of good luck, uh, but they just write it down as a custom item for now. Okay. But uh, the unbreakable arrow is an actual item. Yeah, I, I found that, yeah. yeah. But you do have to go pick it up every time, but it doesn't break. Ah, oh, sweet. Key of... it's, it's kind of like, because um, there, there is a key item that's similar to, to that, yeah. is the mystery key. Um, yeah, it's, it's a little different. But it, but it's better than Mystery Key, because Mystery Key is like a chance to work. Yeah, and then turns to dust. This key okay. attunes to a lock that it's used in. Yeah, yeah. Um, my god, if if, um, cool. if Crater ever, like, I mean, I don't know how old Crater is, but if he grows up into, like, the Terrible Twos or something, or oh and he has a teenager, he gets a little, you know, chompy, we could maybe... Like, no, don't lock his little mouth shut. <laughs> but like, what if what if he's wait, what if he's like a terrible toddler or it, something? Uh, no, Gerald would be on board for this oh, idea. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Arthur turns around. Is there any more? You you got the cell? Or well, we have have we tapped? Yeah, that's all I have left. Right. I got In the potion. Case. I got the cloak. The rest, I'm dry. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna dry out if I stand here any longer without going to get my new clothes. Is anyone else coming to the market? Can we go now? Uh, yes, 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 <clears throat> yes. I'm coming. I'm coming. Arthur <laughs> grabs up the scroll and goes straight to Gerald and goes, "Look, hmm? this is better for you than it is for me, probably. So, Uh-oh. here's the scroll. Oh, well, and that's... I will say it does have a ritual tag." So you can put this into your book of chapters. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> so Arthur gave you a good, good thing without even realizing. He still doesn't know what it is. I, I, it does magic, <laughs> magic man, magic scroll. All right. Well, uh, just for um, expediency, then <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and uh, spend, some trans- time spend some time and money to transcribe that. Rudy, you go to pick up your clothes. You step inside the tailor's office and you hear, Hello. Oh, I forgot the voice. <laughs> Hello, my good sir. I, I've returned to pick up the clothes I commissioned a few days ago. They are quite finished, and I dare say I'm proud of the result. I'm, I'm glad you are. Now, just to clarify, there were no cod pieces on it, right? No arm pieces? I, yeah, I skipped sleeves. <laughs> no, no. Wait. No, no card pieces. That was what I said as I wa- what. What do you mean? Sh- what have you done? Yeah, and he shows you the clothes, and uh, feel free to describe to us the, ah, yes. the clothes. Because okay. this is something that Ozzy himself has designed. It is. Oh. However, I will have to access Discord. Which means I'm gonna so it's not phone. just one giant card piece. <laughs> No, <laughs> it is not one giant god. Yeah. Hold on. I'm a little I, upset. Actually. It should be. I can't believe, you, I can't believe you've done this to us. <laughs> Hang on. Okay. So. I'm kind of just I'm still imagining a muscle, a muscle suit. Friggin is yeah, right? Oh my god. Okay. Can come home with me. 
so um essentially rudy is foregoing the robe entirely um so he's no longer gonna be reading okay. wearing like you know cleric style or priest style robes um he's wearing more like fitting clothing just like a, a nice form-fitting like shirt and, and 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 leggings essentially um because he's being more active in battle he wants less fabric to get in the way of his movements and he um, wants to keep the parts in that are gonna fall out possibly um it, it, coloring wise, it's uh, it does follow Urgothoa's traditional colorings now. So it's mostly greys with um, bone white accents all the way through it in like intricate patterns around like the um, like around the edgings and stuff like that embellishments. Um, it does have a cool feature in the hood. So I don't I don't have a picture of that. Um, no! <laughs> so the hood is a little unique. Um, so when he's wearing the hood, it also has a fold that he can bring up over his mouth and nose. And a fold that he can bring down over his eyes that is fairly, like, light material, so he can still see through it. But, like, if he was in combat, it would be a detriment to his vision. So he can kind of, like, hide his face if he needs to. Um, because, You're a goddamn yeah. ninja. Like a Pac-Man balaclava. Yes, a Pac-Man balaclava. Thank you, Cuddly, for waka, waka, ruining waka, 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 the waka. image I had in no. my head forever. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and yes, as the old man has accurately described... There's no sleeves. It's like a singlet. Um, I see, I see. The old man has misinterpreted no cod pieces to no arm pieces. Uh, so <laughs> his arms are completely bare now. And it um, still has a cod piece. <laughs> I didn't write anything about a cod piece, so that is up to the DM. Yeah. Um, it does have a cod piece. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> and it seems, to be, it seems to be, like, not sewn in. It's detachable for easier to wash. Detachable penis. <laughs> as, as you're putting it all on and trying it on, the gnome, the gnome says, And I know your type. I added the lead something extra and he grabs a pair of scissors and he just cuts into the hem of your shirt oh, what are you doing Matt? Out. and as you're looking uh the threads of the fabric starts just pulling itself together this oh. is, these clothes have the mending property so they will oh. fix them automatically. that, that is, is so awesome. good that is that's actually great brilliant that you you know what i had you all wrong except for this Ready cod piss, cod piece business. Uh, so, I can't remember. I actually Eat cannot remember. Badger, young one. And he gets serious. Someone will always choose to not fight fair, and you'll be happy if you have that cod piece. Does it do anything? It protects them all. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? You're not wrong. I I no. learned something today. I Rudy paid for this up front, didn't he? Or did he? You did. Yeah, yeah, you did. You know uh, what? And how much did he pay again? Sorry. A lot. I think uh, like he uh, paid a decent amount. I think twenty-five or fifty yeah. gold. Um, so it was still pretty decent. You know what? You have gone above and beyond, uh, my good sir. I, I, you know, I'd like to, if, if, you, if you want, you know, a little bit extra, and really, you know, tips him another, like, five gold. Um, and, and you know what? Thank you for uh, keeping the cod piece on. I'll have to get used to this. This is going to be a little interesting if the skin continues to... How, how are Rudy's arms? Because he hasn't really had unclothed arms for a while. They look, they, they look pale, but fine. Okay, all right. Well, I suppose we can work with this. Thank you. You you have been a a, a very uh, a very uh, large help. Well, thank you. All thank right. you. But yes. <laughs> Is there anything else that anyone wants to do? Any shopping? Any looking around? Any uh, any preparations? Arthur is going to go to. Um, I suppose they call him a tavern. I was about to call it a bottle eye. Um, to, there were two taverns, yes. Uh, and he's gonna get the strongest bottle of okay alcohol or ale or whatever. I just whatever the strongest content it is, and he's mm -hmm. gonna and he's gonna ask if they can wrap it so he can give it to Nana. So you just want a strong bottle of booze, essentially. Okay, give me a moment. 
<clears throat> and I will. Essentially, uh, Arthur wants to see if he can get Nana drunk. <laughs> Why? Because, because <laughs> it'd be funny to see Nana just, like spit truth. I feel like if Nana gets that drunk, she would have no just filter. like un unleashes, <laughs> uncorks. <laughs> Nana can outdrink uh, yeah, you. Yeah, ten gold for their most expensive bottle of wine. Only oh, ten. Uh, yeah. Arthur is actually. I mean, ten gold's a lot. This. So he's actually gonna <clears throat> buy two bottles and keep one for himself. Okay. Um, but asks for one to be nicely wrapped, and he's gonna yeah. literally go find Nana because he's like a kid. He can't keep presents away. He has to give them right there and then. Nana. <laughs> oh yes. I have present. <gasps> oh, be what? Then she unwraps it. And she is very pleased, and she's oh well, this is such a fine drink. I can't drink this alone. No, of course not. Maybe we should get everyone else to join us on a couple of drinks. That sounds lovely. Sweet. So we, with that night, are we having a booze up? Are we? Yeah, <laughs> we are. So we're having a booze up the night before we have to go meet the queen again. <laughs> Is that what I'm doing? <laughs> well, I guess. I guess so. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Remember what happens in Ebenspire. Yeah. So the evening, the evening before, you you get yourself some nice food. You have your drinks, and you you have. A moment of like proper leisure like the first time in a while that you you all feel like pretty relaxed there's as far as you know currently not a lot to to be worried about you there's drinks there's food there's jovial chats there author is so you're just having a good time Arthur's so gonna challenge Nana to for a drinking contest. Does then accept a drinking <laughs> contest? Yeah, what? Rudy's gonna crash the drinking contest and join in as well. Right. Okay, anyone who's joining the drinking contest, make come a constitution. Come, oh, on, come on, Gerald, get in here. Uh, it's Gerald not a good drinking. idea. Come on, Gerald. It 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 didn't go oh, well. Uh, for me last time I yeah. got very right. drunk in that case you are in charge tomorrow when we're all Shit. over Shit. Oh. Uh, now that's a freaking uh, roll oh wow nice. we got a 13 over here Dang it. one so Arthur you don't have a stomach drink. anymore man that's <laughs> <what> I... <laughs> Our Arthur this drink is not for you is the first thing you <laughs> Like it doesn't taste any good for you, and you just can't seem to keep it down properly. Uh, Nana, it's it's fine wine, and you find yourself enjoying it more than like drink contesting with it. You're like this 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 wine should be like cherished yeah. and enjoyed, whereas Rudy immediately starts like gulping it down, and for you, it's like drinking water at this point. Um, nice. I, I would assume at some point, like because like. Because we're all partaking of it, would the second mm. bottle be around Arthur, like uh, at all? Well, since Arthur's tried to, and he's just mm. like, mm. yeah, yeah. Look, guys, I did buy a second bottle. Uh, here you go, and Arthur's gonna order a mead from the. the bar. Can, can we do a second Constitution, uh, yeah, save go maybe it. to chug the whole bottle? Go Arthur's oh, gonna shit. do the same. Yeah. Because, oh uh, my gosh, thirteen. 13. It's it's better. You're no, enjoying no. this. <laughs> <laughs> you, go, you go to start chugging and you realize that like your belly is full of wine and you are starting to get really bad heartburn and burping and it's just like... <laughs> is this it's kind of like a, a poison effect? It would be considered a poison effect. Rudy casts some... He's drunk. Get out of the afterlife again. <laughs> okay, so you get advantage. Oh, so you're immune. You can just yeah, start feeling <laughs> more like Shroud of the After Party. <laughs> Rudy, like... Rudy starts looking like really, really sick for a moment and just goes. <gasps> and then he just 
steals his gaze, and you see, like, the dark circles appear around his eyes, his cheeks sink in a bit, and then he just keeps driving. And Nana just is, like, sipping her wine, like, that was really interesting. Now, I would like to hope Ogothelra is smiling at this, because not only is he consuming with gluttonous, reckless abandon, but also using her powers to do so. <laughs> Disconcerting Rudy, but I'd like to add one to my next divine intervention. (laughs) We'll see. We'll see. (sighs) The next one becomes two. Rudy definitely hungover. Oh yeah. Completely wasted. Arthur, you're you're doing okay. You didn't drink too much at the end of it because the drink wasn't for you. Nana, you're feeling quite good. You're feeling yeah. nice. Like, like, you had your literally drink, and you also have the amulet of the drunkard, so you Dude. get healed when you drink. <laughs> so, so we got hangover, CD, and just like a 19-year-old mm-hmm. wakes up the next morning, no problem. Yeah, feeling better than ever. Yeah. yeah. Jesus. And, and Nana also has to sleep an extra two hours now as well. Also, like, Nana's patron <laughs> is literally the drunk guy. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, as long is. as he was, it was probably matching drink for drink somewhere. Yeah, yeah. She probably like did a little wink up to the sky and went, "This one's for you." And he was like, "Oh yeah, I see." But the dawn comes, and you do know that you're meeting the queen today. Cool. Oh, and Josie, I'll let you know as well. I also took the opportunity to um, a tr- finally transcribed wrist, wrist pocket as well. Okay, good. So I spent 150 gold doing that. Wonderful. Wonderful. Uh, I will say as well, if someone wanted to get an equipment bump, I know there's two of you that have shields. There is a plus one shield for sale at 400 gold with Ivaness. Isn't, hang on, isn't Rudy's shield already? It's, you have a resistance to ranged weapon damage, but this is a plus one. Rudy has a shield? (laughs) This shield would give someone plus one to their AC on top of the two that the shield already gives. But you'll be giving up the resistance yeah. to damage. I feel like 17 AC is still okay. Like, I feel like that's pretty oh, that's good up idea. there for, for what we have going at the moment. I'll, I'll keep with what I've got for now. That's okay. Okay. What, what, what's your AC now with the, with the cloak? Uh, for Nana. N- Nana should be uh, 15. 15, yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. yeah, it's not bad. So uh, I'll have a You're all bag. Nana. Nana is still the lowest with her fifteen. Yeah. He's a little squishy. So you got you got pretty decent numbers. No one is like super high AC, but no one is in the low range anymore either. Yeah, yeah. 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 You're all medium, like medium range mm. AC. That's okay. Yeah, but but yeah, having having shield sort of makes up for that a bit. Yeah. Which yeah. is nice. <clears throat> Whoa, but the morning comes too. You get yourself ready. To go meet the queen. Oh. And there's there's a lot of bustle around town when you leave, when you walk through. There's a lot of people are moving northward towards uh, where the, the station is. Okay. And heading into heading into the Ebon Spire itself, you walk up the stairs towards the main building that's built into the spire itself. It's different this time. There's a few people around, and the queen is standing up. Um, and she looks stern. She looks a lot more regal than last time. She's wearing similar clothing, but they're more ornate. And she's wearing this big gold, um, what are they called? Not go jets. Like when it's like a stiff, wide necklace with an inset, um, o- like black opal into it. Oh, okay. I don't know what that is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I believe it's a go jet. I can't remember. I think you might be right. I can't remember exactly though. Um, but you you know the type I'm talking about, like a yeah, it's, it's yeah, a necklace, yeah it's I can like picture a it large stiff metal choker, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, she's also got what looks like golden uh, eyeliner going on, and her nails have been painted gold. She stands looking very very ornate currently, and around her are a handful of people. Mm. And as you step in, uh, there's a few people around doing some paperwork, having some talking. And they seem to be talking uh, up near the throne. Again, she's not sitting. She's standing in front of it talking to these people. You recognize 
one at least. You recognize all of you recognize Venarian Quinn. Yeah. Stepping there. Um oh boy. Your boy, uh, Gerald, would recognize uh, easier than the others. Golas Yok is standing there, the elderly orc who uh, runs yes. the court. Uh, yep, the statue. Yeah. Yep, yep. No, no, the statue is still Ruby, in the courtyard. Ruby would recognize one person, <laughs> um, Abbas Hilda Longhorn of the Abbas of the Dawn Star, mm -hmm. who runs uh, mm -hmm. the church to yep. uh, to Serenray in town. And then there's one more person who none of you seem to recognize. And the queen, Erica, turns towards you. Good morning. Arthur drops to his knee. Go, good, good morning, my queen. Uh, morning, Do your you majesty. Know. Rudy you know. also nods his squid, but as he nods, he pulls the, um, the eye mm. part down. <clears throat> now, I gave you some days to consider what I proposed for you. My counsel, and gestures towards all of them, Venerian Quinn, Golas Yok, and then other side, Abbas Hilda Longhorn, and Lawrence Rethman. We are missing one for this uh, convening of thoughts. General Wallace Orlean uh, remains firm to stay within the Citadel of Christ. They do not believe the task I have given you is as dire as it is. And Venerian looks a bit awkward, like he he's just like, mm, doesn't really know who to look at. And uh, Golas Yok steps forward a little bit. There is no proof that what you claim is true. Cases of undeath have always existed, and an uprising is unprecedented. But we don't know what's causing it. And the Ur Dragons might as well be a myth. And the abbess steps forward. Yes. There is no way to prove that any of this is necessary. But the queen remains adamant, and the queen is still the true power in these chambers. And Loris Rethman speaks up. Now, here's the compromise. You are to go find these Ur Dragons. That's, and ask them what's going on, essentially, from what the queen has told. And she looks like, that's not what I said, but fine. Like, that's the look she gives him. <laughs> 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 it's like, bitch, yeah. don't tell me my own plan. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, the idea is, you find one, you ask them what the fuck is going on around here, and you come back here, and you tell us what you found out, and then we determine if we should indeed try to find any other Ur dragons to see what they know. Arthur says, sword, I'll be telling the queen what we find, not you. Spoicy. Oh. Um, Nera well. steps in. With all due respect, by the time we travel back here, other things may have happened. Do you not think it would be best to send a messenger and continue our search for the next dragons? And that way, if something is happening, we'll have a bit of a, a, bit of a head start, wouldn't you think? And the, the queen does like nod at you, but and then says, "We will humor the council. If you find one of the Ur dragons, when you find one of the Ur dragons, ask them what they know of the current situation, and do come back here. Words might be lost within the limitations of messages. Messengers might miss something or get into trouble." But if you do find one of these dragons, one of these mighty, ageless beings, and they do tell you what we've all been fearing, then I see no reason why the council shouldn't fund any further expeditions. 
and they they kind of like look at each other a little bit and Lauren says well that's good and all but we were also told you would be giving yourself a denomination <clears throat> so working now directly under the queen for now for now what oh. name should we spread uh, are we all uh, are we all in agreement with with the uh, with what we suggested and earlier? Nanny gives him a little encouraging nod. Like, I I also I mean, feel that we we I felt some positive vibes from Goose last night. You know, so I think I think we're I think we're in the clear. An enthusiastic honk. Yes, I distinctly heard an enthusiastic honk in my dreams last night. Oh, that might have also been the hangover, but it, yes. <laughs> Uh, well, if I may, then um, our our suggestion was uh, to call us the Vanguard of the Black. And you see, the the Queen smiles like her her very stiff face does like break a little like twitch in the corner of her mouth. And Venerian looks like not bad, not bad, mm. like, not, like that's mm. that's a good name. And. The abbess doesn't really look fake. She's been almost staring daggers at Ruby this entire time. That's why I put the cup up. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> mm-hmm. Lawrence just nods, looks at the queen. Well, I believe that's that. And the queen says, yes. Now I'll, I shall prepare some paperwork and we'll meet you all at the northern gates for your departure. Vanguard of the Black. Godspeed. <laughs> At this point, and I'm assuming she, we're being... She, she, give a little bow. Uh, and they, they, they just, yeah, they just stand there waiting for you all to bow mm-hmm. away. And uh, Nana will turn around at the last second and just address the um, the court or the... What was it? The little... The council. Other, council, thank you. The council and said, I await seeing you again with good news. And gives him a little wink and walks out the door. <laughs> just before the door closes, Rudy would, would exclaim... A little too loud that he'd go, No evidence! Did they not see the head? I can make that thing talk at any time! Would... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like you hit, you hear it spoon. <laughs> <laughs> but you head north, following the, the people, and you see, billowing with smoke now, this massive metal structure that is, like, as you're coming closer, it's big. This long, worm-like... It, it's essentially an old steam train, is what it looks like. And there's a lot of people here. Some people are getting up on this wooden platform. There's a few people, mostly dwarves, that uh, are checking what seems to be people's tickets and luggage. And there's one that's walking around. Uh, looks like they're selling tickets. And um, there's a lot of people just standing around looking and like waving goodbye. And there's, yeah, well, what do you want to do? Ah, did well, we, already wait. Buy ours? we didn't buy our tickets yet. Did we? Uh, no, the queen was going to supply them though. Oh, we've got we've got them reserved. Sure. Right? Yeah. Wait, uh, do we see uh, the young little Medusa lady anywhere? Oh. What was her name? I can't remember what her name was. What was her name? Just hug something. Sorry. Uh, Hey, hey, Wood, hey yeah. Wood, you cuddled me. Yeah, that's right. I'm, I'm oh, right. That's too cute. Uh, Arthur's also going to do a perception check. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, 17, and then Arthur's level 26, show off. Oh, wow, well, okay, never mind. Forget whatever <laughs> Nana fucking sees. She's too, the crowd's too big. You might, <laughs> you might see the, the flag up over, over Actually, people, though. She yeah. will not. <laughs> <laughs> she will not. <laughs> Okay, uh, Rudy and Arthur, you do see that little like red orange wimple flag, and uh, you see that she is currently struggling to climb up the steps into the actual train. Oh, uh, Arthur oh! goes to bend down and help. No, as soon as you get up, you get stopped, and someone says, A "Ticket, please." Oh. Have you not heard of us? Yeah, uh, the Vanguard. Uh, we all like clamp our hands on his mouth at once and like so, pull him back. Uh, I believe the no. queen has tickets reserved for us. <laughs> oh, yes, 
yes. Uh, yes, there is, uh, there is... I'm just gonna check. Uh, there is a couchette reserved in the Queen's name. That um, would be it. It'll be 25 gold pieces. And we will lead you to the VIP section. And that's each, what right? Is, is it wait? Yeah, you? that's total. Hey, yeah, yeah, actually, she was supposed to see us off, so... Sorry, sorry what was that, Josie? You cut out? You, yes, the Queen is... Uh, gonna come here to like. Oh okay. yeah, we'll 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 certainly uh, uh, board soon. Just uh, that lovely uh, fellow just over there looks like they require some assistance. That's what I believe my friend here was trying to help. Yeah, and as you're looking over, uh, Haywood has climbed up to the last step and is like walking into the oh. actual train. Well, never mind. You spent. It, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. 20, okay, 25 gold, my, was it? Yes. Yeah, remove my gold now, but then it's still wait. That's total. That's yeah, total. total. Not, not oh. 25 each. Uh, Nana's got this, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to add shit back, okay? You should, you should pay for it all in copper. <laughs> oh, shit. One, took the gold two, out. I'm so three, mad now. Four. What's <laughs> gold? 25? 250? Hold on. Doing that. But as as you're standing there, there is a little bit of a podium being set up, and you see the council coming, and um, Venerian Quinn comes like jogging up towards you. Uh, all of you sees the group and pushes through like the crowd up and says a few words to the person who was like stopping people for tickets, and he walks through and he holds out what looks like five sealed scrolls, and he says, "These have the Queen's sigil on them. They ha it has your group's name on it." At least here in the West Flatlands, these should get you easier access to talking to people. Right. Okay. That's, that, that's all we could do for now. And it looks like the Queen is holding some sort of speech, like the people, the crowd has moved over to where the podium is. So it's up to you if you want to go into the train, or if you want to... She said she'd meet us, or... Yeah, yeah we, should, we'll... we should... Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll give... Nana gives Valerian, Valerian, fuck my life, Valerian a little, little. She can't quite reach his cheek, but you know what she means, like a little arm pat, and um, yeah. she'll go listen to the queen. And the queen is talking about. I won't do like an actual actual speech, but she's talking about the industrialization of trade. Uh, how export and import from Tarkar is now going to be so easy. Um, how the city, both cities, as, lo as well as Bourde, who's all, which is also being connected by, but by an underground train, that uh, like joining the the Western Flatlands together in infrastructure is going to be a positive change for everyone. They just talking about like how good this is. Rudy says under his breath, but loud enough for the rest of the party to hear. Oh, I used to fall asleep to these. <laughs> <laughs> and eventually she says, And I wish a very pleasant journey on the maiden voyage of the Magi Rail. And she just claps her hands and you can hear a choo choo <laughs> and someone <laughs> yells, All aboard! Oh, we need to we need to go. go. Yeah, we need to go. <laughs> Just a wave. Yeah, the the queen does wave to you and like nod at the group of you as you're running up. Arthur, the queen waved. So wave back, quick. Just awkwardly wave. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, but yeah, you you run in, you get led into what looks like a um because you walk past a few of these uh couches coaches that it looks like they have just the rows of seats that you can see through the window and then you get to one where you walk in and there's instead this very tight little corridor to the side and there's these uh, couchettes or coachettes like these booths essentially with doors that can close and uh you are led to one uh that's where it says reserved and uh you're led to it and someone says well um if you'd please and then opens the door, and mm -hmm. very quickly this person says, um, excuse me, do you have a ticket? And steps in, and inside the coach, you do see George. What? <laughs> what? What? 
<laughs> what? Hang on. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, hang on. I just saw. <laughs> <sighs> George. And that's where we're going to end for today. <laughs> oh my god. I was just like, it's weird because I just like still have your screen off. You. Yeah. You. I was okay. I'm not even joking. You I had me thinking, on that one. I was going to say in the crowd, do we do we spot George? Because the characters didn't oh know god. George got a ticket. But like, as we did our perception checks. But you oh, son of a right. gun. You son of a gun. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> yeah. I'm so happy. Oh, and and we have the extra seal that I'm assuming is meant for Goose, but we do have an extra no, it's, seal. No, that's not how it works. It's oh. more of a, it's more like a, a, you would hand it to someone you would want to like talk oh. to. And it's a letter from the queen that says like, these people work for me. Give yeah. them what they want, please. But mm. they don't yeah. give the letter back to us. No, no, no. They because they, it's a seal. It's got her like wax seal oh, on it. Right. Yeah, we, we've basically got like, like right. a one one letter of, of get out of our it's way. It's a free persuasion thing. check. We get five get out jail free cards. Flash intimidation check. It depends it's... on where you use it and how you use it and stuff like that. But it could potentially let you in with ease. Awesome. Hmm. But yeah, that's uh, we're gonna end with George sitting in the, the cab. <laughs> I imagine he's sipping on wine too. Oh my <laughs> god! Wow. I got some wine. <laughs> yeah, there's like the the you know like there's a mini fridge and it's just it's just, oh just like, already like, helping themselves to our mini fridge. Oh wow. my god! <laughs> That's amazing. Oh dear. It was uh, reserved. <laughs> I did not see that at all. Uh, that was really I'm so happy. Such a good <laughs> Yeah. Such a great. Oh, I was actually like, oh, I didn't realize Guda was leaving so quickly. I'm like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I, I yeah, felt I was bad. Like, this, should I go? I'm like, oh, don't oh. Go. yeah. That's why I was like, no, you can, you can stay. You don't have to go yeah. from the stream. You can just stay. <laughs> like, <laughs> you cheeky. You cheeky. Not done with George yet? You bamboozled us. Oh. Oh, sorry, I was sorry if we took too long to get to the train to reveal the twist. Mm. No worries. No, that... I was just watching and laughing, and you're like, I kept on like trying to assure my chat, "Don't worry, I'm here for a reason." They just don't know you. Imagine if you like swapped to Asu or something, and then just randomly swap back to. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be really funny. Oh, like, oh, well oh it's me! It's me! It's me! Well done. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. So that means we're we're off on a new adventure now. Woo. Like, yeah. For realsies. Wait, does this really? mean like should we does like the campaign name stay Dramonia? Yes, yeah. because that's the name of the okay, world. That's the name of the world. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna get that. Cool, 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 cool. But we got a we got a party name now, isn't that exciting? Party name, yeah. <laughs> After forty nine. Yeah. You know what I mean? Chat likes the party name, by the way. We got a yeah. few comments about it, so that was good. Yeah. That was good. That's, that's a good party name. We yep. Like we like in Vanguard of the Black. I'm a Vanguard. I'm a fan. Uh, uh. I, I just yeah, like how quickly sure you guys were on Vanguard or something in the future. Yeah, like, pe like once, once we Vanguard. gain a bit of a name for ourselves, you know, people oh, will probably yeah. people will probably use a bit of a shorthand name or something like that. I imagine. As because people I was tend to just do. like, have you not heard of us? And all you guys just jumped on me. I was no just one like, has, literally, uh, no one has heard of us. Yeah, yeah. It's Arthur, nothing. Arthur, <laughs> Arthur is spreading the word. Oh my god! And I was like, like no. no, no, no. I was immediately I like, right. you might have heard of us, we're pretty big. <laughs> oh, does that no. mean George is like unofficially a member of the Vanguard of the Black? Uh, I don't know. If you keep George weird. along. Okay. I feel like I feel like that's more, more in George's ballpark than it is ours. It is not. It is not. I think it's about equal, because you guys have to like, it's got to be a discussion in the first place. Mm. Well, yeah, we gotta find if we kick you out of our cart yeah. first, or I think we're not kicking George, George out of our George has a ticket. It's true. George is where he's supposed to be. And it's... Gerald likes George now, so uh, well, I don't uh, let's not go. <laughs> Gerald, that far. Gerald can sit next to George. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, these, while this is like a VIP, it's large couchette where you got like room uh, okay. to sit and there's like a a table in the middle, there's like a mini fridge. Uh, but you also realize that what looks like the backrests, they fold upwards. 
So it cre and then there's like where uh, the suitcase rack is. It looks uh, it's hanging in nets. So there's like this uh, two like columns of three beds in here as well. Oh. You can make it. So as the train ride is going to take a few hours because you're still traveling pretty far. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Train and, session. Uh, and and where. So so yeah, so it's got some space to sleep if we want to. Yeah, it does. That's it's it. like got like triple bunk beds, kind of. Mm. Yeah, cool. nice. Cool. Um, I also yeah. want to remind everyone that we came with all our stuff, right? So oh, of there's a, there's a yeah, there's, there's a crate. There's a crate. Yeah, there's a tweet light in the oh reader and the there's a chicken. Yeah. In a macrame like yeah. little cuddler thing, it's chaos. It's chaos. Uh, all, all in the like the, the overhead the baggage. <laughs> but you are the VIP. It's one of those like yes, yes, wonderful. But, oh, I you've got a pot plant as well. Oh, thing, good. What about our horse? <laughs> oh shit, Dingo. Oh, we, Dingo. We would have given Dingo over to the guild, surely. Uh, like, I think that yeah, makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the horse Dingo. doesn't get on the train. Don't worry, I'm sure. I'm sure we, we will see Dingo again. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. And retroactively, I'm sure you would have conveyed all Dingo's requests. Yeah. To look, look. Old. Arthur yeah. should have found some sort of pocket for him. To. You know. It'll be fine. It'll be, It'll be fine. fine. It'll be, it'll be fine. It'll be um, fine. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. So next week is right. session fifty. Yeah. Wow. The train I will rails. Say the the week after that, there will be no Dramonia, as I am uh, not available. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, we're going to celebrate so hard on our 50th one that none of us will be available. Yeah. <laughs> next week next week is going to be the travel on the train. It's going to be arrival at Tarkar. Mm. And there's uh, there's some stuff that's going to happen there. There's, uh, there's, a certain, there's a certain person who has a certain person. Oh, I see some eyebrows wiggling. <laughs> I see some wiggly eyebrows. Yeah. Eyebrows, yeah. eyebrows. 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 A, there, there are things yeah. happening there in There are things car. and there are people that... Mm. Yes. Okay, okay. I like it. I like mm -hmm. it. But, mm -hmm. Yes. So the party taking off on the next leg of the journey. The quest is find out where the fuck you might find an ur dragon find the ur dragon ask what the fuck is going on <laughs> that's pretty much it I, um, we can do that yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah we got this uh actually yeah you know, that's what another question worth asking is who are we uh tag teaming for a raid Ooh. who are we tag teaming for a raid? That's, that is a good question, Ooh, that's a great question. is any one of us streaming oh oh my god there's someone actually streaming Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, it's it's Gouda. No, it's Ozzy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's both of them. I just started whispering into my bottle. Like, oh, I swear to God, God, God. I, I thought you were being wow. serious this time. <laughs> um, Whatever. When is she? Yeah, I was gonna say. Um. um... Dang it. But where are we going? Is any one of us gonna keep streaming? I'm, I'm looking at about it. Gouda. Or a good are you? Because I usually do. If my stream actually stays alive, <laughs> I just tend to stream for long times. Well, well, I'm happy to raid Gouda. Yeah, me too. Gouda's chat was so patient with us earlier. I reckon it's only fair we we, we send everyone <laughs> over there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I might I might still continue myself anyway. Um, so, I will definitely so I won't be in your it. chat, bro. Yeah. So I'll I will be going to bed. I will be alert. I will also be going to bed. I'm sorry. Ben, I, got, I got an early stream. I'm going to leave Phasmo. Yeah. You're going to leave Phasmo. I'm not as well. Oh my god. Fuzmo. Don't worry, my scarecrow bar was hit to like 30 or something today, so I'll be doing another Phasmo stream in like a week. So if anyone wants <laughs> to see Phasmo, oh, yeah, I did actually there want to join go. you the, the other night, but oh. I was like asleep, I think. That's okay. I oh, got your message. So late at night. Yeah, I'll I'll give you guys more notice next time. My bad. Yeah. No, 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 no. It was because I was I was already sleeping. Uh, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap it up on my end and my then, sleep's uh, backwards as well. So raid raid the Gouda. Alrighty, okay. I will see you all later. See I will take care of your chatters. Very good. And uh, and for my peeps, we will restart stream and then we will go to the Lost Ark. So I'll be back shortly. Oh yes. Yeah. Duh. Oh, Josie, did you want the after game talk? Oh, she's talking to chat.